doing? We are live with episode 13 of Gundam Gunpla and Grunts. And today we have many, many, many guests. It's our usual guests. I'm just kidding. It's not many. It's mm-hmm. it's it's the usual crew. Uh, plus or minus one. But we're we're happy to have them. Uh everyone's excited to be here like they always are. Hi, welcome. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we have the Wolfie Boy uh, Mech Wolf unit. I do not acknowledge this. <laughs> we have Icy. Good morning. We have uh, <laughs> Me- Medic here. Hey, what's up? We have uh, Moku Mecha Pilot. Welcome back. The rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. He I'm lives. Back. He lives. <laughs> And we have, Mm. uh, of course, the fluffiest of all of us. We have Mr. Fluffy V. Unfortunately, Mr. V, the uh, the uh, redeems are down. I'm sorry. It's it's Twitch. You broke it. It's Twitch. You freaking broke it. I'm going to have you after this. It's Twitch. (laughs) You know, I don't know about him. How will I come here to laugh at you now? I will will provide you with the crowbar and you can Mm. go to Twitch headquarters. You you think the crowbar is going to do it, son? (laughs) I'm going to turn up in a fucking Abrams name it at you. Oh, my God. Mm, I don't know about him being the fluffiest. I mean, my tail and ears are pretty fluffy. Look, he is one giant. Oh, my God. I'm I'm being compared to to a freaking wannabe Neko boy. Let's go. Oh, I am a wolf. He's a he's I a know wolfy you're boy. A wolf. Boys are That's better. The tease. He's a wolfy oh. boy. Where's, where's Pegasus when you need him? Wolf boys are oh yeah, boys, give, me, give me the fox girls, man, all day long. <laughs> I think my girlfriend is a fox girl. All right, Fair. so uh, you know, <laughs> putting aside the fluffiness, we have so um, fluffy. have. We're going to be talking about a few things today. We're talking about um, the wonderful, smooth launch of Gundam Battle Operations 2 for PC. No problems at all there. Oh, yeah. How's that? Going? We have, uh, then we're, we're going to uh, discuss some of the new releases, uh, pre orders of uh, kits coming out. Uh, some Bandai, some not. Uh, we have a slew of uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, community kits. Um, I just want to let everyone know a couple things about community kits. Because um, I get asked a lot is, look, the skill of your gunpla building, it does not matter. You built it, you put love into it, and I want to show it off. Whether it's a straight build whether you kit bashed it, whether you painted it, whether it's your first time, I want to show it off. We want to show it off, and it's hold just, on a minute. It's just You're using my fucking speech. Yeah, it's it's just for the love. How how dare you steal for, from for me. stealing plagiarism? No, no, we just we're just here uh, because I get a lot of messages saying like, "Can I?" No, can I, I do uh, agree with you. That's a very stern thing about. Yeah, yeah. fully agree. I just get a lot of messages uh, saying like, "Oh, I don't know if I can post because it's like my first build or it's just a uh, just a plain build or whatever," and I got nubs on it. It doesn't matter. We like we're. We're here to uh, welcome newbies to the community and to show your hard work. I don't care if you got a Converge Gashapon from an egg from a con or you bought a few from Japan. That's still a kit, and I want to see it. Yeah. You know, if you enjoy it, that's that's still a mini kit. Back yeah, no, like, show us. You get a fucking Kabea candy toy? That still counts. It still exactly. counts. I actually should post a picture of it. I actually do have this one Gashapon thing that a friend brought back for me from Japan. Yeah. It's a it's the old RX-78 head, but it's clear, and the V-fin is blue. Well, that's interesting. Oh. Interesting. Mm, cool. I've just got the heavy arms and the new Gundam <coughs> and Burgess. Uh, I've got a Zaku one, but I'm not... My, my second Sorry, point on. is uh, I have uh, I have a lot of uh, community kits and unfortunately i can't show everyone's off uh today because i have so many um, but we will try to show as many as we can yeah we 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 try and uh show them off if it's not if you don't see your kit this week 
I will show it off next week or the next episode. And that's uh that's a promise. So don't okay. fret if you don't see it. Um so I know yeah, we got uh, a massive outpour of stuff. Yeah, I know uh, some people <clears throat> may be disappointed mm -hmm. and I apologize. Um also um you know when Microsoft decides to just kind of restart your computer and update it on its own and kind of like losing all the progress that you had for saving pictures and and organizing everything just goes out the window cuz they're all on um basically Windows tabs just kind of you know, you kind of lose track of stuff. So, um, just forewarning, some kits will be shown next time. So don't be mad, okay? But what we can be mad about, moving on to our next segment, is um, there's there's been a little there's been a little bit of outrage. I would say a little bit of sadness, um, mm. and I think it's warranted because mm -hmm. it it it's. It's a little embarrassing to be honest with you, where we've had a bunch of launches of Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2 for PC, test the servers, mm -hmm. test how things are going, <coughs> and then it's just, I can't get a match. Or I get booted, or the game crashes. Yeah, I see that a lot on Twitter. I haven't gotten it because this has been terrible for me for money, but. I've been meaning to get it so I can actually play a game, you guys, but apparently that doesn't happen. I have I mean, not been able to get a I, single game. I mean, well, I hopped in with some friends that, well, the evening it came out. Some of us, well, some of us dealt with some lag, but those of us on an actual tower PC never reported an issue. Ah, uh, one of the lucky ones. <laughs> yeah, I've I've not been able to, mm -hmm. uh, and I and I have like a like a high end high end spec computer. 4090, you know, Intel. It's just, I, I, it's, I don't know what's going on, but game crashes. I can't find matches. It's, uh, it's been pretty bad, and the Steam community seems to have voiced their opinion to be mostly negative. Where it's at, uh, I think it's below actually 21% at this time with like 5,000 reviews uh, at this point. But it's, uh, it's not, it's not good. In that case, I'll probably stick to the PlayStation version. Like, I might drag it out for well, for streams if I can get it running better. But yeah, I'm gonna stuff from the PlayStation version already. Yeah, Moku. Yeah, you want to talk about it? how you feeling? Uh, I have some I have some very unkind mm -hmm. words for this game. I have not played it since the second beta, and mm -hmm. Uh, it it's been rough trying to find a good Gundam game anymore because they're all either problematic or they have bad launch issues or they're just not playing fun to play. This one especially kind of stung me really badly because I thought it was actually going to be like the a really good Gundam game. Yeah. Because I didn't play the PlayStation version initially. Um I knew about it, but I never I never bothered to actually give it a shot uh until the PC version came out. And I freaking hate this game. It is absolute. It is absolute doo doo. Yeah. I I don't like it. Um, hey. The matches that I did do were either players were either exploiting like really cheap tactics, or I could easily tell that the map design favored one side over the other for capture points. Um, especially if it was like they uh, capture the point mode, or it was just like it, it was just not fun. Um, I think the, the last good Gundam game I've actually played that was a, an actual action game was either SD Gundam Battle Alliance for the most part, or I have to reach all the way back to probably Gundam versus Zeta Gundam on the PlayStation two. Wow. I haven't played anything good since. Wow. That's kind of like pushing now a, a good Gundam game that I've played recently period was SD Gundam G generations. That was actually good. It I, I find like it's hard to have a bad um game if you're if you're running it through like the genre of cross generations, you know what I mean? It's just been around for well, so yeah. long. But like when you wanna like, you know, people wanna feel like they're piloting a Gundam, you know, and having mm -hmm. some some action and it's just, it's just I, I've not been able to get that feeling. 
in a game. Uh, you want that? Feeling? I mean, there there were a couple Warriors like really good attempts at it back in the day. Like, um, I mean, I can't be the only one that remembers Mobile Suit Gundam Zeonic Front on PS2. I like Zeonic Front, but like, I'm in love with you. Oh, GBO2 here we reminds me a lot of it. So I don't know how well how you can love one to hate the other. I will say it, one thing: it's, it's mainly because crazy. of the multiplayer. That's so, the main reason. It's that it's that too many when players you're are exploiting Battle Alliance of all things. It's not really exploiting. It's more learning how it goes. Yeah, no. You, you say it's an exploit. Like that's not the way the game's meant to be played. Like it's not meant to be careful planning, risk and reward analysis. This in do do you try and push forward? The one thing with uh, GBO two is every single mobile suit is like learning a new car. You have to know how fast it goes, how well it turns, how well it can do. Yeah. It's not like you can just jump in immediately and know what you're doing. That's no. Who's got, That's not how it works. Who's got time for it's that? So, oh, no. I, I knew it's that so right much off the slower bat. than most other shooters. And you know what? I like that. The sheer speed of evolution is what turned me off of that. So I don't know. When I was watching you play uh, Fairy Code, uh, it didn't seem you liked it a lot. Okay, code that's just because Fairy thing. sucked. <laughs> Co code like, Fairy is the more... same game. <laughs> yes, but they don't. GBO two is a game where you should be on equal footing with every with just about every enemy. Code Fairy puts well does ten on one encounters. Yeah, listen, the game code the way. Um... GBO2 is made, it's not made for... You, you uh, can't fight versus. off hordes of enemies effectively in GBO2's it's engine. Not it's not meant for, for that. It's not made for player versus enemy, it's made for player versus player. I don't know, guys. What I'm what? hearing is, uh, I have a skill hmm. issue. That's kind of what I'm hearing right now. Should I just slam in the old man opinion? Because I'm not going to change it from what I put on Discord. <laughs> Pretty simple. Oh my god. I, I, yes, I, come, go I come from an era of like 90s gaming as a young lad. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. GBO, GBO 2 is... It's Mech Warrior 2 to me. With a few fancy somersault attacks. That's all I get from it. And to be honest with you. If I want to play Mech Warrior 2. I'll go play mm. Mech Warrior 2. Battle Operations hasn't grabbed me as something like stand outside the yeah, box, yeah. you know, being original. It's got nice flashy gimmicks and some good suits that I appreciate. But again, for someone like me, I feel like I've backtracked and gone back to the 90s and played Mech Warrior. That's just my honest opinion on the game. Yeah, I hear and that. Was play, even, play that was even the same the impression mechs. that I got was that it felt like Mech Warrior with a Gundam's coat yeah. of paint on it because yeah, i'm you know i'm used to like you know mech warrior two. three uh two three four and five yeah and even mech warrior online so i know you know that's what well, it felt well, like to me was that part. if i compare this to mech warrior online mech warrior online was better and that's a far mm. older game at this point yeah and it's... that does it better with mech suit control this game's biggest problem to me is the whole, you know, be a pilot, jump out your suit. Yeah. That feels so robotic and not at all. I know you don't have to be realistic in these games, but my character shouldn't take the uh, the turning circle of a Buick to turn <laughs> round. You know, it, it's a bit it's a bit weird. It's very robotic. The suit operation mm. is okay. Mm. But a lot of the time, yeah, I feel like I'm just playing. I may as well go play Mech Warrior. Wesley, when you're talking about turning, are you trying to turn while boosting? Because you can't I'm do that as a pilot. Just turning in general, you know, turning around if you're not trying to do a Sonic the Hedgehog backtrack. Look, even it's just like doing a turning circle is horrific. Look, even Stardust yeah. Memories uh, had kind of like you know the portrayal of kind of ground type mobile suits. I found that to be like kind of what they were trying to aim for. But it's still just way too slow. I have a boomer take as well, if I can. I see. Let's hear the boomer take. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, the reason oh, I sure. say this is the boomer take is because we're you know you're mentioning skill issue, and it could absolutely be this. But I've I never played it on the PC. I tried it four times on the uh, PlayStation, yeah. and every single time I uninstalled because this game is not user friendly or new beginner friendly. I mean, 
And then you add in a gotcha element to the game, and it seems like unless you're willing to spend like a hundred hours and I don't know, fifty bucks playing this game, it seems like you've got no chance at ever having fun. I, okay, first off, the, the, thing on, is, the machine, but the machines we, I use are available full at the shop. Day, well, the moment you start playing the game. What I wanted Can to I ask, say, what I wanted to ask, Icy, is what do you mean it's not noob friendly? What did you find kind of not not friendly? So when you, so let's say I'm so. This is, and I'll, and I'll probably come from personal experience on this. So you load up the game your first time playing. You get like, you know, you have like a standard set of suits. They give you some free pulls or whatever. Yeah. You get some suits. You, you go into a match. First off, you don't, it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does explain it. It's just, it's so, the game, it, like anything about the game is so boring outside of combat that your brain shuts off. So you don't really know 100% what these whole team costs and you don't know loadouts and stuff because mm -hmm. nothing is like super conveniently telling it to you you have to like read paragraphs of non-spoken dialogue basically That's and true. then you get into a match and you are not matched with anyone on your of you there is no skill-based matchmaking which means you're being matched in with anyone who wants to play a casual game uh, anyone and we're what talking the hell are you talking about there's rated um, there, matches it's rated yeah, but you no. can still a, have different uh, different ranks. every time oh, i don't I see the people. ratings ever differ that much beyond like one or two um, different levels of rating per match. Every, so then it's got to be like just a my bad luck thing because I feel like every time I'm playing, you know, you got your little rank icons there. I got like nothing because I'm whatever, like the private first class, but then I'm seeing all these freaking like uh, barred guys and I'm like, um, this is bad. And I'm pretty sure that's, I'm hitting casual cool. match. If you're hitting casual, then yeah, that's what's going to happen. But that's the thing. Like, I'm not. You know, yeah. like I'm using casual because my assumption is casual Fair is going to be for people who aren't sweaty because literally every game makes the casual mode for people who aren't sweaty. There's and a lot of games, not there's a lot of games, not TBO that does that. There's I got to bring up Overwatch. Overwatch does that because a lot of people who get onto these games who go onto casual immediately play like it's a ranked match. And they will do everything to raise their rank, even though casual doesn't think for it. So that's just MMO game. That's just online fighting games. And all. Again, that's kind of why I also prefaced it by saying this could be just a me be having a boomer moment take thing. Also, uh, for your complaint about the gotcha, uh, uh, you know, literally everything I use is when I play. I is stuff that you can get outside the gotcha. Like most of it from the moment you boot up the game. I cannot. I, now it's time for a grinder take for someone who actually grinded this game for two years. All right. Let's hear it. This game is not the best by any margin, I will say that. It does have its problems, but dear God, does the team work hard to try iron it out. Oh. Yeah, they do. I will say, ever since I, I mean, got it here's like, the thing. Yeah, a couple of years ago, they release a new suit every single week. That is yeah, fucking they, insane. Yeah, but you gotta drop they, you gotta drop sorry. tokens for it. You gotta you gotta gotcha. Um, I'm just saying the amount of work they still put into it isn't fucking insane because it's a new suit every week. Well, you know what I would have every appreciated week. if they put work into actually getting the servers up right and getting games going in the PC okay. version. Yeah, that, that yeah been that's nice. PC games fault. Yeah, uh, yeah. That I'm, been nice. I'm probably not playing the PC version going forward. I would, I would yeah, honestly blame PC Bandai for. for it. I would I'll put this in the Bandai. game's favor, from my view, and this is a big thing with me. It feels like they're trying to work the game harder and get it into a working state more than Evolution does with theirs. Uh, and from what, for how much effort I put into Evolution, and now I've just completely stopped playing. I feel that there is a lot more elbow grease behind battle operations. And I hope, I hope they iron out the issues. This I this really is do. The, I will say this is the same team that made Gundam Crossfire, which Gundam Crossfire was a game that would have been good if it had more time in the oven. If I let it cook. Don't work. Uh, I, I never played Crossfire. Months, Crossfire so was, we'll make a was proper right. opinion. I have been, yeah. It was actually a really interesting idea. Basically, think of some of the similar combat, but actual destructibility completely. Like you can get your freaking hand shot off. Ooh, and you can, yeah. The, and you can literally, then they went backwards, and I felt then they made this game. Um, just just closing it out. A, um, I doubt. I think this launch having being this bad is actually gonna 
mm-hmm. like really hurt uh, PC players for this game. Uh, it's lost me, so I'm not like I'm not coming back to this. It's I, I can't play uh, it. Yeah, I'm not, and I ain't coming back. So version. I will say yeah, one I might give it a try in two, three months, but I will reference I will. it to another game that's done the same thought thing. You guys are probably familiar with it, even though it's not a mecha game. Dark Tide from Warhammer. Oh, I haven't that, been that back. Came out. Everyone, everyone loved uh-huh. it for a week, but then the content boom was gone. They tried to apologize for it. They've oh, been that, trying that, to add content, yeah. but the game's still months away from being you know, a viable it. grinder. And the game with battle operations is the same thing. It's got a grind there, but if you can't do the grind, yeah. that's going to be a back step for me. But I will, I'll give it a chance again. I'll give it a two, three months. If they iron out the issues, I'll happily try it again. I give every game a second chance. Yeah. But after that mm-hmm. second chance, if I still see a buggy, sluggy, slow game, then I'll, I'll put the nail in the coffin at that point. But I will give it a second chance. I'm a fair guy. I will say one thing before we end off is that it does not actually matter what uh, mech you use as long as you're at the same cost. Like, I've seen freaking people coming with, like, versus a camper with a fucking powered gym and still do pretty goddamn well. Oh, God, yeah, no. Like, people I like the camper. Thing, they're free kills. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're like, made just like, like how Zeon made them. Yep. Tissue yeah, paper. no, like <laughs> they're made of tissue paper, and I play snipers. The uh, the thing I am I am excited for for the next uh, mecha game is in fact Armored Core? Um, Armored Core Six, which a lot of people are saying in chat. Um, oh yeah, the yeah, uh, everyone likes it. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. The uh, the Twitch is kind of not doing the redeems mm. right uh, right now. You'd be seeing a colony. Ooh. Being dropped on Australia. Unfortunately, you can thank. Don't worry, for being broken. Well, don't, don't worry, Arif. After this, I'll, I'll go to Australia and do it for you. <laughs> the uh, yeah, so One a lot day, of people in chat are, make up for it. In, are, are talking all, about all uh, Armored Core Six, and uh, that's probably going to be a lot of um, savings grace for a lot of, of mech fans. And uh, uh, someone suggested that well, they should bring back uh, Battle Assault and make uh, the Arc system. You know, I mean, company do it. Ooh, I, mean, I have not I heard say, good things about Battle Assault. I've it's, it's never a fun played game. Battle Assault. It was actually a really, really good fighter. It I was. mean, even outside yeah. of just it being a Gundam game, it was actually a really good fighting game back in the day. Remember, um, guys, I still actually day, hold it in pretty you know. high regards, even with um as many other good fighters right. as there are out there right now. Yeah. Back in speak, my speak day, these Gundams moved even slower, and I could barely hit a wall. All right. Okay, so um, speaking of mech games, we it's not just Armor Core 6 that we had to look forward to. We're getting a Macross game, which oh, yeah. should be really right. fucking good. I've never, heard, I've never uh, seen anything about it. Trailers, though. I should look that up. I, I imagine say, it's going to be Ace Combat, but more mecha. I'm going to wait, I'm gonna wait for, a tra- for a gameplay trailer before but, um, I get my hopes up. Yeah, I'm, grind- I'm waiting for gameplay, and uh, then I'll pass judgment yeah, on it. Yeah. We, we got oh, the Grandizer right. game coming out, which, I don't know, I might pick up. I mean, and uh, I'm I'm excited for Megaton Musashi. It reminds me of Custom Robo, but actual Super Robots oh, this time. Custom Robo. Yeah. It, oh, I cannot wait for the PC version of Megaton Musashi. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. No. I have no I, idea what I, this I, is. I'm gonna wait. Oh, the the other good one is that if you're into um, more strategic mech games, uh, Front Mission First Remake comes out on June 30th. I was oh, about wow. to say. Yeah. No. Us mecha fans, we're eating and good then, this year. Oh yeah, and I'd then like the, the other big announcement that really got me excited that I didn't actually expect it to actually happen was um, Marvelous announced uh, Damon X Machina two. Right, oh, I forgot wow. about I that. I forgot about that actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. So if if you like Armored Core but a little bit faster, watch out for that. I'm. I just uh, got the game. I'm excited for the next uh, Super Robo Wars game. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still waiting for that to get announced. Have they even announced any details on that? No, yet? they just said it's they, coming. They have not. All all we know is that Dyna Xenon's in. They just basically said it's coming, and, it? and uh, oh yeah. boy! Uh, like obviously it's coming. Like thirty sold like hotcakes. Oh, it did for sure. Well, then that might then that could bode well for a Western release again. I hope so. Like honestly, it's kind of still amazing that thirty received support up until January of this year. 
It did. Um, moving, like, mo- moving on to wow. our uh, to our next segment, we're going to be talking about a couple of new releases. Mm. Uh, some pre orders are coming out, and uh, oh. the first kit, um, of course, guys, it's a P Bandai. Because why? Why wouldn't uh, it be? We mm. we don't, they don't make regular kits anymore. Guys, um, all the all the kits you're talking about today are P Bandai. <laughs> why does it look like Robin Hood? Um, because. It is uh, from IBO, all hail IBO, and it's the. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher the announcement. It's not a Gundam frame. It's the uh, Ortlinde, Ortlinde, Or Ortlinde. Yeah, Ortlinde. Um, assuming assuming the pronunciation is the same as the Soul Calibur character. So here's some more more pictures of it. It's uh, it's like a graze, I guess, or it's like. It's um, like- it's similar to the what was it the Grim Grud? What was it ever called? Whatever uh, Mr. Are. Chocolate was uh, piloting yeah. before he was uh, McGillis. Okay, so it's uh, one of the mass produced years from the Calamity War. Then I... it definitely looks like a knight. Yeah, which I always like. Yeah, uh, was the was this the one that was? Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, it adapted the Valkyria frame. I think it was called. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It looks it looks all right. I mean, it is. I mean, I personally, I don't think I'd get I can't it. take that. I can't take that feather cap seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't take the feather cap seriously. I mean, just think of it as a V fin. Yeah, it's a V fin. Yeah, you know, I'm a big P Bandai fan, but this kit does nothing for me. Not at all. I, I wasn't honestly, actually it sure. This reminds was a, me more of Z O E more than you know what this black. Re- you know what this really looks like? This really looks like um they took you know that like SD Gundam World Heroes show and the model in the yes. last it's it looks like they took the uh <laughs> the Robin Hood age kit and they just like let's uh. make it look realistic. Oh god, yeah. I'm but, still waiting for them to do that for this Matt. is uh Robin yeah, Hood. No name from Gundam better. SD Force. Comes with uh blades that you can attach. It's like a I'd probably get the kit for the blades. I wouldn't get the actual kit. If they sold the blades separately, I'll just buy them. The kit. Yeah, I'm really not feeling that. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, you ain't feeling I'm not it. feeling any particular yeah, attachment. Okay. Like, I look at this thing, and I until you started saying it was from IBO, I wasn't entirely sure this was even a Gundam kit. That's where I'm, I'm at. I, I saw I this on Twitter a couple of days uh, ago. It, I don't know. Like, It looks like, like a, a, a book kit. It, it, it looks like the like a Robin like, Hood death sign. I mean, it looks it, like the long lost cousin of the Cybuster. Oh yeah, yeah the good old Cybuster. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I like I like not, the Cybuster. I don't like design. this. Well, I it guess, just feel so generic. I guess a lot of you guys don't really like the kit. Nah, yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's not. I feel me, like man. I'm surrounded by three people that. smoking hadium because I think it actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> You can, I, mean, I don't hate cool. it. I just but, wouldn't uh, shell out P Bandai money for it. Uh, you can get it yeah, for it's, really like it. it's only twenty two hundred yen. Eye on an amazing six, yeah. It's only twenty. Okay, that is better yen. than I expected. That is better I than I expected. It's it just is, is it looks like it takes from other kits and doesn't finish it. Like it's got eclipse elements. It's got death scythe elements. It's got barbatos elements. But it's not the good parts of them. It's like the leftover bits of scrap put together. I just can't I mean, tell what it wants to be. Kit, but it's not giving me the fizz, man. That that's not one for me. But I still respect Tony. Mad respect. Mad respect. It wants to be an edgy Robin Hood. Yeah. Mm. With a light. The big thing for me is like if you want an eclipse, get an eclipse, because that's mm. what it looks like to me, just white yeah. and less spiky. It looks I like the Gillis's E. I will say as someone that loves like night designs for Max, this is this is pretty good. I think it needs. I, I think I just need a big ass sword. You know I what I mean? Know. I think it's I would actually sword. if it had a cross tree. If it had a, I mean, we already had a, a kit that was a big ass sword. Yeah, but you can never have too many of those. I mean, it could have Maybe been a bow weapon. You know, Dark that, that still <laughs> wouldn't help it. I don't think. <laughs> uh, the next. I mean, we great we, we had an IBO kit with a bow weapon too. The, the next kit is actually uh, not even uh, Bandai. It's uh, it's a Chinese kit, I believe. It is the uh, it's from Zhao Workshop. It. No. It's the Redeem. No. It's the Redeem model kit, and um, there's a lot of stuff oh. coming out from China. And for me, it's like hit or miss. Oh. I like the I like a lot of them. 
Uh, but this one, yeah, it just I like really the want John, too much uh, is happening here. Yeah, and I'll say a bit too much is happening over here, but I do like the gun. I am a sucker for um, barrels made of well, uh, of two separate pieces like that. Um, I kind of like the weapon until I saw the really weird looking fucking. What is that? Is that a blade? It's <laughs> is uh, that the uh, fucking? That looks like the scepter of Mercury. It's yeah. a scepter, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like it's got too many panels on the back, too much shit going on, that ridiculous it's like, blade. It's like the, when I see the stri uh, the uh, Strike Freedom, I'm like, it's doing way too fucking much. Yeah, there's just too much going it, on. It's up there with body. that. I would also make, like, the rude comment. It almost looks like if you typed, uh, make me a Gundam into chat huh. B GPT, oh, this is what sp oh. spits it out. Oh, Good no, night. That, AI, done. AI Gundam. Uh, oh, no. Uh, well, we yeah, haven't had Gundam so piloted that, by that AI. Might be a, no, a no, we it can't be AI generated. It has the right amount of fingers. Wow. I I'll actually give <laughs> it a good <laughs> reference because I really, I'm not a huge fan of third parties, but I did recently get a kit called the Ruling Gundam. So if you guys don't know what that is, Google it because it's an absolute monster of a kit. And you say Googling there's a lot now. going on with this kit. I do agree with you guys. The problem is. It's got a lot going on, but not enough difference in color to Difference. make it good for a lot going yeah. on. So there's not enough, you know what? like, a bit of white on this, a bit more <laughs> black in certain places, maybe a bit of silver edging. And it's been seen... way better, but it's it's too much of the same color palette. Is my I will say it. it has light bits of red, and it's just different colors, different versions of blue. Yeah, yeah, that's my problem with yeah, it. I like you need to get off the blue. Following yeah. on from what V said, I just Googled the ruling Gundam and yeah, no, that also has a lot going on, but it also has a ton of orange to break up the blue. Yeah, you see what I mean? And that's got interchangeable color schemes. So you can have gray, you can have green, you can have a bit of blue. It, it's got a lot going on with it, but it's got a different color palette for it per piece. I do like so the inner th frame. This one's just a bit plain for me. Oh, yeah, that's a nice inner frame. Yeah, it is a metal in frame as well. Nice. Yeah, this yeah, is... I like I liked the color, liked the main body. That's fine. If it's different back, like like this, if I I'd buy it just like this. Yeah, same. Yeah, but, yeah. It was like I said, um, but the I backpacks don't... just seems like it's trying too much to look like a Chinese war god. Which I mean, what's Chinese the price tag on this? Is that like, what it's going for? Uh, the big well, it looked like uh, that. Let me see the price tag for. The, I don't know what it is in in USD, but you guys can convert it. Uh, it is a hundred and fifty nine Chinese won. Nah, too much. No, nope. I don't know what the conversion rate <laughs> like, is. Like to guys. give an example, the ruling kit that I told you earlier, and people obviously looked up. The ruling is one hundred and twenty dollars with a metal in a frame. Yeah, fuck so no. I'm compare not... that to this. Yeah. Nah, th this is already out the water for me. No interest. Third party no transformers kids. are cheaper than this. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you can get YOLO part transformers cheaper than this, and they're yeah. great PG size kits. It doesn't. It doesn't really seem to have a theme, and more just like throw shit at the wall. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have some uh, actually more Chinese kits, uh, but they're actually like P Bandai, and you guys have probably seen these. Um, Oh yeah, I think I know which ones these are going to be. Wait, actually no, this Whoa. is no, this is a different one. This is. Did I? Oh, ah yes, this That's is the new one from the Judge build, I believe. Yeah, this is the. Uh, I think it's called the Sao Dang. I think. Ain't Tainwa model kit. I could be wrong. Um, it's called the something. <laughs> uh, what do you guys? It, it kind of. There we go. There's a better picture. Of this is what you get if you like the Judge series. Mm. Like the people that made the Judge, th this is kind of on their level of design. Yeah, no, I actually really I like. like the Judge. This I like. I mean, I it has the like side shield thing, which I've always loved from the Forbidden Gundam. It's got the Gundam wing head. I don't. If you guys, I'm not sure if you guys that, can that, see that. That's never the side. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. that that's a wing. <laughs> So the wing head, yeah. I don't know how to feel with the sideburn. They, they give me Quan vibes, but I know they're not. I was, I'm about, really to say, like I was about to say, I was about to say, Wing though. Gundam turned Edgelord with this. The so arms now they're giving me like, uh, The arms kind of look like they're from the Shining Gundam. 
Yeah, now in the way that the shoulder shield are doing that also gives me God Gundam vibes. Yeah. Oh. I like the gun. It's a nice gun. It is. I'm trying to, trying to tell if that sword in its left hand reverse grip. It's a double bladed. I don't. I don't know. A better because I'm a I'm a sucker for reverse grip. I'm a, my my Star Wars four love and heart is. No, no, I get that. Starker left an like impression the, on us all. Like the, yeah. the hands. Oh, sorry, not the hands. The uh, the side armor of the arms. It's it's like from the wing kit, or like Epion yeah. or something or something like I don't know. Yeah, yeah it kind of looks like shiny that. Gundam wing. It's kind of similar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so apparently the backpack is uh, actually like a core me. fighter. Oh, that's nice. The overall um, color scheme makes me think like the Rising them actually. Yeah, that's why it was. It's either yeah, it the Rising like, or Tynaway. whatever it was. It is the Tinaway. Um, what's it going for? I think this is mm -hmm. going for like four hundred. Chinese oh, world. that's pricey. Oh, boy. Oof. Oof. Looks all right. I'd rather for, get a PG know, kit. I don't think I'll be paying it's that much money. It's expensive what it is. Well, I mean, this is the issue does it say it. how big it is? I believe these are either 1100 or like 172. They're going to be like the judge. So they're like an in between of the MG and PG. They're a bit bigger, but yeah. also a bit short. Yeah. I think sense. Okay, so the price tag makes a little more sense. Uh, the I'm next confused. kit is uh, it, it is also these are also Chinese kits. These are P Bandai though, and uh, um, that sure is an Epion. Is uh, oh, yeah. so they're calling oh, yeah, these it are the, the one one hundred Gundam Epion Cross. Contrast color clear white and it released in December for 422 Ooh. Chinese yuan. Hmm, I, I don't I that on like Twitter, it. And I have the wings I bother me about it. Yeah, no, why, yeah, are they, like, why are those the only clear part? Why are the wings see through? That makes me feel like I can break it a lot easier. It feels like it. It looks like they just poured glue into a mold. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of gross looking. I, I, I've, had a, I've had the very same opinion about this since it released in December, and this is going to be a brutal opinion, so someone might argue with me about it, but I'm going to be straight. Yeah, I'm putting my seatbelt on. Buy okay, I'll, I'll be over here being gay Epion then. And pay a custom painter to do this job for cheaper than the actual kit is. And have a custom Epion at the end of it. Th this is just... It, it's so okay, it but it's here. too expensive. I'd rather pay a customizer to do the same job to a normal Epion. That's right. right. I mean, Hang on, I, like I, I, I gotta use the can. I'll be back. Yeah, I, I don't like this at all. Like, it's just... The gold it's, is the wrong type. It's mustard gold instead of shined gold, and it ruins yeah. it. Is the me. inner frame see-through? Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's either clear no, or like no. a weird off white. It's like the, it's like this egg white or like like tannish color. You can kind of see it, by its it, leg. It, it looks gross. It, they didn't pick it like a royal gold or anything like that, like no. or goldenrod. No, they. It's, it's like they picked the worst versions of all these colors and mashed them together. Yeah, I hate to say, it, but the freedom has a better shade of gold in this. Yeah, for for. for. And it's like, I don't know, they're doing this weird cross contrast colors. Um, I do what they did with the wing. Yeah, so I will so say that the wing we have, which, which is the next kit here, uh, they're calling it the uh, Wing Gundam Zero EW cross contrast color clear purple for a whopping 455 Chinese. What the? That's a lot of C's. Yeah. Uh, I think they actually did okay with the wings. You know, they're not. Yeah, that bad. The I do like the, the tin like color game going on. Like it's the color contrast isn't too bad. Like the color, but like the, the wings extra work together. Yeah, the the plasticky see through wings bother me still. This is like the evil. So I'm assuming like the the revolt the uh, uh, rolls are reversed where this is like the yeah evil. instead of it. 
It, it's like angel and demon switch. Yeah. Because, you know, the Epion's obviously supposed to be a demon, and the uh, Winged Zero Custom is supposed to be an angel, you know. Yeah, I, I'm just confused yeah. why the, perp the, the Beam Saber handles purple and Beam Saber. Usually that is a little. Wait a minute. The, the beam saber is also is clear. Three colors. Yeah, the beam saber that's is clear. Oh, well, make it red. Yeah, make it any other color. It's confusing. Yeah. I definitely like that beyond better. Silver or what? Just to some contrast. I don't know. Some of these decisions, you know, maybe the detail it's... on the legs looks weird. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, I actually kind of like the lower half. Though. I don't know. The more my, I look at it, the more weird it is, it is for me. I do. Obviously, I love my wings and everything I else. Think and I don't mind when China goes and makes their own version of P Bandai's. But they're simply choosing the wrong colors. Like, if you're going to do a different color palette, you know, at least think about what people are going to like. Because these are the wrong gold. That purple is ghastly to me. Maybe some people will like it. But yeah, the moment you said red, I was like, yeah, I would have gone for red on that. Yeah. You know, demonize the angel a bit. But now these colors are just but the only reaction I can give is, uh, you know, just uh, cheese. If, uh, that's if, what they were, if they really <laughs> wanted to do the angel demon thing, they probably should have changed the, the look of the wings. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I can go with red wings, but purple. Nah, I, I, no. I agree there. There's like a, the lower half. It's it's confusing. It's almost like the unicorn. Like in, in, I feel like they should have changed the color of these wings to be black. I would have taken that. That would have been a lot uh, easier but, to but do. You see, on eBay, there's actually a black wing set you can pick up for about ten dollars. Yeah, so that's already been done. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, but I do agree with your legs. Like, uh, I, I don't know if they're trying to make it look they're trying to do weird. Well, whatever do they're doing, they're doing it's not working. Not evil that. energy. Um, our next kit, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are going to believe Torch it or not, much better but it's, uh, me. it's P Bandai Definitely. and it's, uh, like kind of like a three in one and it's, uh, kind of the, the nightmare of Solomon set, mm. here, which, oh. uh, I actually really, really like oh. nightmare of Solomon. Oh, I like you it. Get, oh my you God. have my interest. Yes. so pissed off right oh, now. Oh yeah. Yes. Gato. Oh, I sweet. like it. I love God, these. I like is this Robot Smashing Nation or is this Gunpla? This oh, is... yeah. This is the guy who's very angry. I'm pretty sure this is Gunpla, or am, uh, am I wrong? <sighs> if it's Gunpla, I'm buying it. I hate myself for it. I, I think it's Gunpla. I could be wrong, but. It, it looks like Gunpla because I'm looking... it looks like Gunpla, but, but they're showing back. stuff like this and the hands, which okay, makes yeah. me think it, are, might not it, be. it might not be. Uh, I'm back. What yeah, we these these about? might be like for Tom, uh, Tomashi no, Nations. I don't. I don't think yeah, it, it's it's G frame. It. Actually, it is G frame. Oh, it's uh, oh okay. It is, but I had to show it no. off because I I I think this is amazing. So oh, what are these? Um, Anvil Gatto customs. I just got back. Yeah. 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 These are yeah, these are Anvil Gatto suits. Yeah. Why are I don't yeah, know why Anavol Gatto is the one king so much input, but because he's a because movie. he's a man of destiny. He's a Chad. He's a bitch. He the best Zeon character oh because he, he, looked, he decided that the, the best only good Zeon character, character is a dead Zeon character. Like big price I, dependency. I'd argue, him. but on the other hand, Rambaral. <laughs> right. He's very, very I dead. The guy who decided the best course of action was to nuke a bunch of people. Yes, the Federation are assholes. Yeah, but uh, but, but he's not wrong. better yeah. than nuking the entire. But he's not Eastern wrong. Coast of All right, I just I just love how fucking fat the GPO two is. He is wrong. No, he's not. He literally has the he literally has the highest kill count among any Zeon soldier. Yeah, dude, Gato's he like does. if you want. If you're talking uh, well, Chad, that's because he had the cheat code in the form of a nuclear launcher. Of course, <laughs> he has yeah. the highest kill count. You know what? The Gar had the cheat code you. in the form of new type abilities, and he, he also attacked a that fucking. Number. He also attacked a fucking assembly where they were just doing a showcase where none of the soldiers well, were well, ready that for seems combat. To be a That'll teach problem. him to let their guard down. The, stop trying to defend this piece of shit. I will always defend Gato. I am Ko and Gato's number I, one defenders. Oh God, thank God we. <laughs> so have you're someone. a shrimp for him. I, I love. That's Ko a funny as well. way to say shipper. I've never I actually seen Star's memory. I just, Ko, I just know the. I just okay. know of the wide boy. Stardust 
Hey, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good series of. Look, our guy was definitely uh, an idiot. Before before this goes into a hoop throwing contest here, we're gonna move into the next uh, kit because it's the Eclipse Unit Two. Also, P Bandai, what do you guys think of this black and like uh, the Aegis like head? uh, Unit Two. Um, Also, also that's. It's a bit. More, it's less like the Aegis, more like the G Geminis. They're fucking lord. Yeah, I get, yeah, 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 yeah. Giant. I'm fine with this thing. Yeah, and I, I had no interest. I in would it. rather still ha- rather get another uh, another Eclipse and just paint it the colors. I didn't like the Infinite <laughs> Justice or the Aegis's giant fucking antenna thing, and I don't like it now. Hello. I don't like the I fin. It hit me, but I like the rest of the well of the pointiness. I don't know. I like the general Let's shape, but aside from that fin, the colors are fine. There's not like Those anything back. The they, they give me kill the kill vibes. Yes, yes, it does. Actually, like, that actually like makes it oh, better. No, but not bad enough. The original eclipse and then paint these colors because that's actually I get it for the accessories, but and then, and then swap swap out the head. I do like uh, the metal know, like shield Bandai, So if this was the right price. I would get it over a regular Eclipse because I haven't built an Eclipse yet. But Eclipse is I will throw in the pool that you're right, you could repaint an Eclipse. It's price dependent. If this is double the price tag of a regular Eclipse, then yeah, you're going to paint one. But someone like me who doesn't paint a lot, I would still rather get this kit over the original because I haven't built If I'd built one already... I'd have a different opinion, but this is going to be very price dependent. The, the retail. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I do that with people. The retail for price for this kit here. is 6,600 yen. Hmm. That's actually that like not what? 65, 66 dollars? Uh, that's 66 Canadian, so that's like 50 something US. Oh, wait. So oh, this that's is, my uh, this is real. It would be running up to like $60 here in the States then. So this Canadian is Canadian Monopoly money. money. That's not bad. Kit, is it? Yeah. Wolfie boy. It's actually about as much as the regular Eclipse. But that, Ooh, that's the question, though. Is it and a real grade or a master grade? Master th- grade. This is the, grade. Master grade. Oh, this is the 1 100 size one, grade, correct? I'll buy this I'm, one. I'm looking at yes, this transformation this one, and I'm confused. 100. What yeah, are you confused I, I about Wolfie buy boy? that version because of the price. The fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> Uh, you know, you remember the um, mid two thousands when uh, when Hasbro released various Transformers that turned into vague spaceships. I, I guess, but it kind of looks that, like a fucking like that's snowboard or on a wave rider or something. It just looks like, like Energon Shark to me. You know, it's supposed to look what it's like. That. It's supposed to look, guys. I think the Eclipse did better as far as that, uh, and then. As far as that mode. I think this is like the the additional backpack that you can get separate, right? Uh, yeah, that's the like Eclipse course. This, uh, pack. Yeah, yeah. So it's got you can you can attach that onto it um, and make it Gosh, even make it even so more edgier. Mine. Make it super edgy. Look at that. I don't even needs know what's more, going needs on. more fins. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Uh, but there it is next to the. Uh, it looks I bigger. Like it. It's I like someone drawing on. It looks me. like someone just made. It looks like someone uh, just wanted to make. Like I want the eclipse, but I want it bigger. I want it in black. I want it black. Yeah, exactly. Um, I like the regular eclipse. Yeah. I mean, I certainly don't mind the the black, red, and gold color scheme because you know it. It always looks good. It's just that I'm not a big fan of this Gundam's design. It's a little bit. It's a little bit busy. It's a little bit. It it doesn't feel like it wants to be like a consistent design across the board, right? It's very. But pointy. I mean, Actually, I, I can certainly see like why people like this one. Yeah, I mean, it, I could use it as a throwing star. It looks more Honestly, like a sh- it, it it looks like a more slim down than like Sheen Gundam to me, which I actually like. Also, uh, if you told me this is a nightmare uh, frame, I'd believe you. I want to show you the. This is our. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm not the only one that's kind of saw it. I was like, like I was like, is this frame. lights a lot? This is going to be our last uh, oh. P Bandai kit that we're going to show off. It's a new release, oh. and I think this. I missed the this, purple wing. This kit is going yes. to be absolutely insane, and I don't know who's going to buy it for the price, but um, I this know what you're is show now. this is called uh, the 
Yes! Oh, yes. Oh this god. fucking oh, Maximum so Ridiculosity. I saw Shin this and I was like, oh Japan. my god, I can't believe they're actually doing it. Heroes Universe Project Shin Universe Robo. Their release date is January 2024, and it released for a whopping price of only 23,000 yen, 99, 99, 99. That's a lot of money for something you buy at the dollar store. <laughs> this literally sounds like something. This literally looks like something people just start mashing toys together and seeing if they can yeah. fit the parts. Doesn't this look yeah, like no, a this, wait, so, dollar so you store? mean like most most Super Sentai mechs since like 2015, right? No, yeah, you're literally Minipa. forcing the parts and making them work. Yeah, no, my so guess every is every Super Sentai mech since like 2015. <laughs> you guys? Yeah, but you know the difference about Super Sentai mechs is they look good. This looks ugly as fuck. Oh, no, do you guys see, sometimes see know. those like knockoffs where it's like Super Robot Batman? It's like you know, oh like, no, you I know, know I know, I know. I'm I'm oh, giving there's... flashbacks to the fucking Thomas the <laughs> Tank Engine combiner as we oh, speak. Yeah. You actually saw that too. Yeah, Ed Ed to Chub in chat actually has the best way to describe this. It looks like something I'd see at the Mexican dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, I will say That's this is perfect. Been, this is literally just made to sell a toy. But one thing confuses me. Three of, like Guys, the head is three of them combining. Yeah. The head is literally the common ride motorcycle. <laughs> This yeah, wouldn't be on, so bad if it wasn't so half-assed. They just I, glued the torsos to make arms. I will. I will say one thing. Three, one thing that never made sense to me about this is three of these are live-action shows. One of these are anime. Why the fuck is one of them in anime? Because um, um because Evangelion because was it's, made it's, retroactive. Well, it's yeah, also um because uh, these are the Hideki, Shin versions. Yeah. Which is, yeah, Hideki. I, I just want to note that, look at Godzilla's face. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. He, he's like, he's please help me. No, he doesn't. It's Shin Godzilla. His existence is pain. Please yes. help me. None of them look like they want to be there. Oh my god. Uh, Kevin my, my says, bit, can I come down now, please? My biggest issue with the kit is This the, is not the, the road. This is not the way for it was the thumb part. Like the advertisement you saw of these being merged, you know, doing the combat runs and everything. That was the good side. <laughs> this is what happens when you let 1990s fucking Power Rangers come <laughs> back again. That's what this shit oh is. My this is a villain from Power Rangers. Oh my god. It's got a cool beam sword though. Look at it. It's like Oh boy, blue. cool beam sword. I could get one of them from like any other kit out there where it's got a beam sword. Oh my god. I'm I'm sorry, so if, if I, I, Megazord, I hate the AT. Okay? I, hate, I hate the way Godzilla's wearing the AT field like a collar. Oh my! God. Oh wait a minute. Oh, that's the that's the that, AT yes, AT that's AT. the AT field. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, you guys gotta watch the uh, the promotional Look, video they made. Yeah, the promotional video is the everything. Video is it's awesome. amazing. Uh, the, these are the uh, individual oh uh, when it's separated. Uh, we have the uh, Godzilla here. Uh, he looks. He looks he okay. Looks, uh, I'm sorry. This, he, this he looks like an ugly, lumpy right mess. Here. I don't. But he shouldn't Godzilla, so he's supposed to look like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I was about to say it's just like scar shit. Godzilla. It's Godzilla. Leave him alone. It's Shin Godzilla. Leave Godzilla alone. Shin Godzilla alone. <laughs> no, Shin Godzilla. I don't know what I'm to him That's is that his existence it. is it's suffering. Oh I, no! I, there goes Tokyo. Uh, this oh my god, Eva 01 looks like a cosplayer. Eva looks a little yeah, bit too the, thick the around the waist. I don't what know. is with Yo, those legs? I mean, come on. Those legs look too thick. Like <laughs> it's, the, legs, the hands are too small and the legs are too big. What oh the fuck? Oh my god. What am I looking at? It's a cosplayer, guys. Come on. Yeah, no. Uh, it's it, it just wearing pants. Oh my go, god. Go, go, Power Rangers. If the Shin Ultraman oh. is looking you dead in the eyes, then I'm sad. It, the are the legs look way too big, or the hands are way too small. Pick. Yeah. Pick also, a that's a side. really small AT field. Why does the yeah. AT field look like a fucking an, lollipop? It's a stop sign, guys. Actually walk it's a stop Eva. sign. No, that just reminds me of the. <laughs> do you remember those old Lego Star Wars sets back before they had dedicated gun molds? They were just oh, mounting God, no, um, an orange that. stud. Yep, no. Oh, well, an orange stun on the fucking megaphone Ultra for blasters. Boy. Ultraman is Ultra not typically gay anything. Oh my god, I hate 
He did. He, someone he, who did uh, not. No play, I hate this Ultraman he, so much. He's, he's preparing to do a rider kick. He needs Wait, the legs. He looks and he hasn't been skipping that leg day since his show went off air. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, his feet. Where where the fuck is his forearm <laughs> bleed weapon? Where where's that shit going? What's that? that freaking oh my mean? god! The sword is supposed to be the spaceship beam. That's terrible. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, I'm dying. I thought you guys realized that. I didn't. Oh, I didn't you guys it barely looks like it. Yeah. Thanks. I hate it. Oh, that's the like, That's oh, not the way it goes. God, it spreads foul. out. Like it doesn't converge. I mean, not gonna lie. Kamen Rider looks the okay. Kamen Rider is just Kamen Rider. The Kamen, the Kamen Rider looks like, like kind of part of the appeal. He doesn't look yeah, that you know, bad, but uh, like I think he I gained a little weight. The name though, of I don't the know, show. Could be wrong. Can you guys remember the name of the show that had like a bug style character that was Power Ranger style? Beetleborgs. Big Bad Beetleborgs. Beetleborg. Big Bad yeah, Beetleborgs. That's, one. that's the what American he looks name like to me. He doesn't look like Kamen Rider. He looks like that. Big but they're the same thing. No, that's the Beetleborgs. It's uh, it looks like a Beetleborg. Beetleborg? No, it's, wasn't it's that just still using Kamen Rider. Kamen? Look, um, look, I don't think it was Beetleborg on a something. <laughs> this, I just can't believe this is 23,000 yen. Get out. Oh, Get that, the fuck out. Well, no, no, I, just checked, out. I just checked a big bad toy store and this thing's fucking absurd. <laughs> it is the ugliest okay. shit to ever exist and I want to know oh who thought God. that they could sell this. I mean, oh, they're going to tell us. Oh no, it's going to sell. It looks amazing. I'd buy it. It's, it's going to sell, sell, but people are going to keep this at the back of their collection in fucking this shame. Is, no, this is something you display proudly on the front because yeah. you're just the most unhinged person. I think, ah, actually, I I think Japan went crazy God, over yeah. this. Girls, if your yeah, partner they has this on their display shelf, get you're about to have a great time. Oh, my God. oh you will. You're either going to have a great time you're not going to wake up in the morning. <laughs> You're not gonna be part yeah, of it. You're not gonna feel your skin because it won't be there by the morning. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, we're gonna move on to. Uh, we're gonna move look, on look, to our I'll community build. Really another here. I'm not, Wait, I'm not really before you do this, yeah. it could. I wish to apologize better. for this being wrong. Rushed. What are you wrong That's about? The big problem. Uh, I thought Beetleborgs was an American adaptation of Kamen Rider. It was not. It is <laughs> Juco B Fighter. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah, the the one that actually was the American adaptation of Common Rider was Common Rider. Yeah, it was Common Rider, if I remember. Yeah. Was that the one that didn't do very well? Yes. Yeah, yeah it, did, it only lasted for like I think like two seasons here it's in called, the States. It's called Master, yeah. if even that. Oh, look at this. I I missed. Oh, hey. I, I miss Superhero Samurai Cyber Squad. That was fun. So so before we were, uh, someone did mention the ruling Gundam. I think it was uh, V. Uh, this actually is the ruling, well, not ruling Gundam, but it's the ruling, and it's by yeah. uh, Dominic Moser, uh, who sent I mean, this in. And, uh, I mean, it's basically a Gundam. It's, it's basically, basically it, it's a Gundam. It's literally, I believe it's the Cataclysm, is it the Cataclysm Gundam? It's literally not allowed to it be It looks like the, Gundam, the Cataclysm Gundam <laughs> and a... Uh, uh, it looks like oh, a mix what's of that, a what's that Universal Century suit that was like half gun. No, no. Uh, the no, Bawu no, had a baby. No, 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 it looks like and no, the no, no. Buster. It looks like a mix of the Buster and the Calamity. The Buster Verde. That's what I said. It's lo it looks yeah. like the Calamity and and a Bawu had a baby. Yeah. The no, 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 I said the Buster Ooh. Gundam. The, no, yeah, the Buster the Verde. Verde. Yeah, the Buster Verde. I, uh, like I mean, this. it's it's one hundred and twenty dollars, and it's a massive piece of kit, very well built, metal frame, and the guy that's built it, he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, and I've noticed job. he hasn't put no, he, he's put everything on it, so he's gone for a full barrage mode. Big respect to the builder for this one. Yeah, it looks oh, it looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, no, it, it looks really well done. Well, if you're gonna go big, go big or go home with this kind of thing. Yeah, true. If it if it comes with all the guns, put all the guns on it. Put it all on. I mean, it looks the like you know, like like you don't buy the full armor. You don't buy the full armor <laughs> unicorn to like only put it like half together. No, put everything on that bitch. Yeah, I yeah, bought exactly. the full armor unicorn to mount the, on the missile pod on something else. I'll, I'll actually be building this in the future myself because I had to get one moment and saw it. It's great price, huge kit. Yeah, and it's got so it's got interchangeable mm. color parts as well. So. He went I just realized the gears pop down to reveal more missile. Yeah, yeah I, I love that. Yeah, I was just gonna say it pops down to a. Uh, it's I want, literally the heavy arms of. Work? I wonder if the work. chest is also like a big yeah, uh, laser. 
as well. The chest is a big. That's what pattern. it looks like because yeah. there's like there's a green it lens like in the center. It, it looks like a hyper beam can. What's going on with the face though? Why why is there that green? The face actually has a problem that it has a Gundam style face, but you have a uh, translucent green bluish mask that you can put on you it. Know, for problem issues. is it doesn't look right with it on. Yeah. So a lot of builders have been taking that mask away. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so for copyright. You get a better Gundam face. Yeah, copyright and all that lot. Yeah, you know, now, now that you point out Megatron that the face. Well, now that you point out the face is mostly a blank screen from here, I can't stop seeing a very buff version of Prime Soundwave. I love it. Okay. I okay. Love it. I I can kind of see that. I can see that a little. So, so, the point, the theory, point, the biggest point about this kid, is that literally, it's China's answer to the HIRMs, yeah. but it's literally half the cost for more they, kids. They and the quality you said well. was pretty good there, V? Pardon? The quality was really good, you said? The quality is really good. It's got a few, it's got a handful of parts that you might have to glue because, you know, it's a bit hard, some of them are a bit tight, but. 99% of this kit is built like a Bandai kit. You're not going to notice a difference. Right. Small part, small handful is built like a model kit, but you're yep. not going to notice because once you get into it, it's a very enjoyable build. I've got a friend that's built in the process of building one as well. Okay. I'm going to build one. It's a half price HRM. I mean, what more do you want with the same quality? There's a yeah. lot of quality control on this. Yeah. Kit. Uh, it's an awesome kit. It's something that I like to add to my collection. Uh, looks great. Uh, thank you, uh, really Dominic nice. Milkshire, for uh, submitting it. Thank you very much. Our next kit um, is is the. It's going to be a du a duo uh, oh. uh, kit. It's going to be uh, pictures of the wing. Oh. That's a hero. Uh, zero kit. custom, and we're going to show uh, the death sight health custom as well. But uh, okay. I like I like the weathering on this one. It's oh it's yeah, really just like well say it. it looks like it's been dragged through hell. It's, yeah, uh, which I had skill for weathering, which is very nice. Yeah, it's very subtle. Oh yeah, like very well done. Like it just finished an atmospheric reentry. Uh, this kit was done by Alexio Medina, so thank you for uh, sending that in. And he's got a picture with the Death Scythe hell there. As well, uh, so I have to really crane my head. I don't think you oriented it I, right, Aya. I changed. I that switched is, it. I switched. Uh, it. Okay, I, I got a better. Okay. That's much better. Nice. So well, nice. Guys, I like it. I Did like they say which version clean, of the Death right? Hell this is? Like, what kit was that? That's the MG uh, Death Scythe Hell. That's the that's the MG. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the MG. Okay, it's not. Yeah, yeah, I'm just wondering so, why, why is the, the beam size solid. I think they've not they painted it. Why? Like, what's solid? Sorry? The beam uh, scythe. The beam scythe, the beam scythe is, is a solid it color. Is, it's not translucent anymore. They might yeah, have they used might have the, um, to, the translucent uh, glow paint. in the dark. Yeah, glow in the dark paint can do that. Ooh, yeah. that's a, it, if, if that's what it is, that I, yeah. I'd love to see that. Uh, I it like has this. the same sort of luminous to it. I like this a lot because it's got like the like the hell and the angel kind of uh, theme in here, so it's it looks really cool. Ooh. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alexio uh, Mendina, thank you very much for submitting it. Uh, wonderfully very done. Quick, the weather looks great. Love the uh, love the uh, the way you oriented it. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for sending that in. Uh, our next kit is by Adam Hammer, and uh, it's a little bit different. If you guys remember, the um, Adam also previously oh, sent wow. in some oh, yeah. mobile, uh, oh, kind God, of mobile dolls. So it's adorable. This, this that's is ninja. it's the ninja girl. He's named yeah, this, no, that's uh, Miami. He's named this uh, the mobile doll Charlotte. It is the diver, build diver uh, Ayame with epoxy ears, and I think oh. uh, it looks fantastic. Oh, I, yeah, thought, it looks I thought great. the ears were I like mean, part of the kit. I still need to find out if this person takes um takes commissions because And I'm still I not still seeing looks. an Iowa one. There we go. I, I am 
I would pay I good will... money for a mobile doll of myself. I am a filthy, filthy egotist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a mobile so doll would I. Of I, have, I have a model. I just haven't shared it very much because I only have the picture. I will say it is very <laughs> nice. I mean, I always like the Ayame design well enough. So, yeah, no, Ayame was she was the good Ayame design the build girl. fighter, oh, build divers. Yeah, Ayame was best girl. Oh and, my god! And and, uh, and, uh, and, and fucking and, Nightbird. And it's and we Love have it. the masterpiece Night. Nightbird Transformer, which oh uh, wow, Ayami's fucking massive wait, then. Which that's the uh, master great. That that's that's the master. Oh, Charlotte was the red one. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that is the masterpiece because the little things on the on the on the insides of the thighs are just for the transformation is weird. Yep. I don't actually know how big the masterpiece is, but if it's anything like Masterpiece Soundwave, uh, yeah, I know. Then, uh, then this custom's fucking RC massive. Small. I think RC is a little small compared to Soundwave. I don't know. I'm just going with Jobby the Hong. I just couldn't get over the fact I'm laughing that he just hated the look of it. Apparently, apparently, uh, my bird's in, uh, is going to be in the new trans, in the new Transformers movie. Yeah. So, that word's actually in there proper. Pretty excited oh, for yeah, that. Yeah, as far as I as far as I can tell, uh, he's been confirmed to be in. Was it's because due to the yeah, the leaks of the toys or? Oh, that's Pretender Nightbird. Uh, I'm looking up what that is. Some is it like? I'm not finding Nightbird. anything when I put that in. Act. There's some there's some toys of her at it. Oh, that's uh. That's um, how I knew. Night. Uh, oh, oh, oh! The the model. The the Ayami custom is Pretender Nightbird. That's yes, why. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Figured it out when I I I, I found Era. I found your fur affinity. There you go. I'm probably gonna start looking around at what other customs you made here. They they look good. They look incredible. Okay. Yeah, now it all makes sense. Yeah. If you guys remember, I think I can show you the previous uh, stuff that um, he's worked on. Whoops. Let's see. Hey, yeah. wait a minute! I think I recognize. You guys remember? Yep. Remember this was uh, this was Charlotte, I believe. Oh, nice! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And then if I, I can like show her. off the very Sazabi, I like her. Ah, there oh, we yeah, go. Here's, like design, here's the we? full set of um, customs that he had shown before. Oh yeah, these. Oh yeah, that's right. He did. They did a. Yep. A lot of a. Uh... There's a lot. Yeah, because I see. There. That's right. I would still pay good money for one of these. Yeah, a lot of talent. Yeah, so it's amazing. Reminds me, I still have to work on my own. Thirty minutes says she's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> I, um, I got add on it's to 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 boost her, and it's just like, no, well, I haven't done it. Mister uh, Mister Hammer, thank you so much for uh, showing off the kit. We uh, definitely want to see more. Um, so please uh, keep sending yes, in, Mister Hammer. Do I? Do I? Um, so we can roast her. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Keep sending them in. We we love to see him. Uh, everyone here especially loves them. Our next our next kit our next kit is um by DJ Fetty. It is uh the Master Grade Dom MS09. Wow, that's a lot. Of Dom. Time. It's uh, the Dom! Of the Dom, the Dom, the brother to the... <laughs> the Dom, uh, primarily seen in groups of three. Before and they are destroyed. Before they are destroyed. Yeah, I, I, I want to know what's going to the Black Tristar's heads. Like, we couldn't bring him down when there were three of us, but two of us, surely we can do it. Yeah, they just got angry and lost. If at first you don't succeed, it's... try, try again. Listen, yeah. listen, the on characters are known for being whiny li yeah. Whenever they don't get what they want, they start whining and then they try to murder people for it. Yeah, well, you're I like the purple. I like the matte purple a lot. They don't yeah. got friends. They got like The matte really looks uh, really good. Yeah. Um, oh, everything just seems really to good. pop. You know? He did really good on those stickers. Like, holy yeah, shit. That's like Ka level of um, decals. Yep. Uh, so I wonder if the water slides. Some I assume so. Slides, some of them look like it. The there's some that are like stickers. Yeah. Yeah, those triangle Hoffman ones. Hoffman you don't do that. water slides of those. They usually just make them regular stickers, I think. I think the larger ones are 
water slides, but the smaller ones are stickers. A lot mm. of people do do half and half because it's easier. Oh, it looks amazing. Uh, yeah, DJ, what an incredible job. Really, really good. Everything pops. Everything's so clean. Uh, the decals are really good. Uh, that's a dome that I'd have on my shelf. Thank you so much. Uh, the next kit is um, a resin kit, and it's really, really cool. It is uh, the G System 160 uh, Gerbera Tetra. Oh, oh the Gerbera Whoa. Tetra. Oh, you, you sold me. That's one of my favorite uh, Zeon. That's yeah. very good weathering. The Originally the GPL4, that was turned into the Gerbera Tetra. Yep. Huh. Um, they also oh, the, the, added actually, LEDs isn't, in isn't the thrusters. Gerbera, anyway, no, it wasn't. It was originally the Gundam GPO four. Yes, they just made well, it more. They all have some like, name like uh, uh GP one with the Zephyr. I don't. I don't remember. Uh but this kit has uh, LEDs in the thrusters, which kind of add. I believe like the resin is like completely just like unpainted when you first get it. So the Holy paint shit, job's absolutely of... incredible. Yeah, no, yeah, like, oh, no, if it's a resin kit, it. this thing this thing came gray. It yeah. it didn't have any color on it. Yeah, yeah no, like no. I have a resin kit sitting in my closet. That shit don't oh, don't have color. It needs to be cleaned quite a bit. Yep. It, you might have to deal with some air bubbles. Yep. They take a lot of work to get, but my understanding is they also give more or less unmatched detail. I Dear thought this Lord. was a, when I first got it. I thought it was like a metal build or something. The way that it was detailed and stuff. no, yeah, just a really fucking on. good painter. Absolutely phenomenal. I love I love the LEDs and the thrusters. Look so good. Oh yeah, I know that's yeah, that, that's gorgeous. That absolutely. Yeah, awesome. like like this. I would easily say this needs to be entered in like modeling competitions yeah. and see how it would compete. Because I th I think this would. This would be a very, a very good contender, if not a winner. Yeah. It's oh yeah. Incredible. Yep. More pictures. I love the I love the green eye LED that lights up too. It's phenomenal. Really adds to it. Mm. I know resin kit kits take a lot of work, but this one's been done really well. Like ten ten across the board. Yeah. Like, dear God, there's stickers everywhere all over this yeah. thing. I, I thought oh, that crap. was like painted. It, it looks so clean on it. Like it looks like yeah, art, it's part Lord. of the kit. Really, really well done. I, I would not doubt that he's done the proper thing and not just slap them on water. I reckon he's used some softer and setter on that. And big thumbs up for doing it. Yeah, and this is this yeah. I don't think by, these are um, water slides. This kit was by Tyler Scott uh, Modlin. So uh, amazing. This this kit's. Uh, Absolutely insane. You can tell a lot of work and time and care was put into it. Uh, holy smokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone loves it. Fantastic kit. Thank See, you good for kit. submitting it. Yeah, thank you for submitting it. Good kit. Amazing paint job. Our, I love the way Zeon is scrawled across the shoulder pad. Yeah, Zeon. Yep. We, uh, All right, next, we wouldn't go that far. Uh, our next kit. Yeah. Our next kit is by Noel uh, Angelo Tolling. It is the Master Grade FA-78-1 Blue version. The only modification done to it were magnets were used for the placement for the add-on armor instead of the Bandai provided mm -hmm. double-sided tape. Oh, damn. So that's a very Another. nice, subtle um, kind of mod to do, actually. Yeah, I like the colors. I, I really, I was a little make it easier, easier the colors pop. They pop nicely. Yeah. Yeah. I literally yeah, really good color. Blue. And actually, I, I'm surprised at how good blue looks on this Gundam. Yes. That, it, it's pretty yeah, neat. Good. I like I've always liked the full ar the full armored, but damn, this actually looks really good. I like, the, I, I like I this more, one. And I'm just right, glad to I see thought... that it's not in like standard tank green. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good color. But... Yeah. I about to say, don't knock and on I'm my I'm going to be making a hit you with man it. Gundam out of an origin, but <laughs> I, I, the blue, the blue is growing on me. You know, it really that, is. That's what caught me so off guard is that I've got the green tank <laughs> version, and I thought, is this just a blue version I missed? 
but it, it looks really good. Like the blue is growing on me. Yeah, like, I want one next to my green. Yeah, one. No, as a native Colorado, oh. go Broncos. Now I know what I'm going to make my uh, my uh, Thunderbolt um, Gundam Zeon Z Zaku c conversion thing out of. It's going to be out of this one because I love the freaking look and feel of the uh, the two point oh. Because also, the especially it's just oh. mm, good engineering, oh. good everything. It's just perfect. The only things I might need to mod on it shoulders and that, the shoulders and obviously the power piping. That's it. I like how well the blue and the legs merges with the white. Yeah, everything oh, about this. Really well. They need you know what they need to do is they need to release one that's like uh, a yellow, red black version and then have it called like the power rangers gundam you know and oh, then it can give us a gundam mate wait no we already got that it was called the super shock gundam never mind <laughs> yeah. um yeah does anyone remember that thing no vaguely vaguely no. wiped from memory uh yeah. anyways this was by uh again uh noel uh angelo tolling thank you so much for Good going, uh, noel. presenting it just very clean kit very awesome uh, our next kit is by Nicholas Wells. It is. Can you guys guess what kit this is when it uh, pops up here? Uh, oh, something God. double O. Huh? It's a oh, no, Nodley. It's the Nodley. I can I can see the the fucking braids. Yeah. It is indeed oh. the Nodley. It's the Nodley. Wow. Oh, Dynamas. That's bad. really good. I love the mm. photograph. I really wanted to to show off the the way they photographed this was. Truly amazing. Oh, I yeah, no, like... It's its own reward. Like, there's a Twitter account called Images That Could Be Album Covers, and I feel this would fit right in. <laughs> Just put... Yeah. Oh, yeah, it could definitely, <laughs> like... Be, yeah. be the cover of, like, the uh, the OST, and that just... I wouldn't question it. Yeah, put a... Just put a label on it, you know, and, and a title. <laughs> uh, here yeah. it is, in all of its glory. I always thought the the head was a bit wider. Um, it does yeah, look the like head a very looks a large little head. strange in this shot. I'm not sure what's what the deal I mean, is with it. I, I guess God, it needs to fit inside it. the virtue. Yeah. yeah, but I thought it was yeah. wider though. Maybe I'm wrong. It probably like, looks wider the virtue with the virtue wide. shoulders on because they do increase the mass. So it probably looks bigger with the virtue armor on. Oh, it's uh. David's saying it right there. It's because uh, when they built it, it looks like they changed the um, position of the mm -hmm. cables that make the head look uh, a little bit weirder. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh! Because I think the cables are supposed to come out of there's like some there's like some vents, slits in the shoulders there. It's the on vents the on the, the side of the head that they come out of. Yeah, and I oh, think yeah, that's, that's right. probably what's contributing to making the, um, just the way your eyes kind the of head following the head to the, yeah. So I think that might be. I think it is skinnier because it does have to fit into the armor of the virtue. But yeah, I think that might that might be also contributing to it. Yeah, I think you might be right. I also think it just looks kind of weird because it's the rule of thumb for not not just all Gundam. It's just a a humanoid figure. When you just fit into a static pose like that, it, it gives off a weird look. Apparently, the weird the look. they change the hair position. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out of the neck instead of actually the side of the head, like it actually is oh, in, the, okay. in the official art. Yeah, oh, okay, it okay. just works. Yeah, it's supposed oh, to come out of the vent. Yeah, it's supposed to be like wires. And so. there's a hair piece in the back as well. I just noticed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be like the freaking dreads from the uh, Predator. Um. Well, yeah. I I actually really love the kit. Uh, it looks awesome to me. The head doesn't. I don't know. The head just doesn't seem right to me. I think it should be bigger, like wider. But that could be, it's probably just maybe the it's, it's the hair. Which your bitch in. You did a it's, good job. It's the hair and possibly the camera. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, wow. Uh, well done. Looks fantastic. I love it. I like the, um, I especially like the, uh, the artwork of the, uh, the Gundam logo on the shoulder. That's really nice. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. that looks sweet. All right. Thank huh. you so much for uh, for showing off the kit. Our next kit is. Do, 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 do. Can you guys guess what kit that is? I need to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely yeah, that's a double. That's Exia. That's Exia. No, Exia. I'm sorry. 
What? Uh, I just thought, I just is noticed the frame. A repair? That's perfect grade. It is a perfect grade, and this is by uh, I uh, from Instagram by Infinite Gunpla fifty three. Um, yeah, it looks uh, super clean. There we go. There's a better. Part. The legs are chunkier than I remember. I need a I need a peach Yeah. There you go. There's a better. Yeah, it, it is a very nice perfect grade. I mean, I've I've got the riser to build, and this. Did they repaint this one? Because the blue looks a little darker. Yeah, the blue yeah, looks no, darker. It, it, it might be also filters. really. It might be also the red looks a bit darker. Yeah, yeah well, I I, sure. I doesn't see. I don't like. I asked for um any blurp, and I didn't get one. So I don't know if it's uh just a filter from Instagram. Could uh, be. Um, I think it's like the, the Ludwig filter on Instagram because uh. The boxes look a little rich in the background. Look a little richer in color. Yeah. I think that is. I think that is a color filter. Okay. Yeah. So um, they messaged me on Facebook, but um, this is their images taken from from Instagram. So it could be that. Uh, or, uh, not this one. So, but yeah, it looks good. Uh, the headpiece looks amazing. I do. You guys know if it can actually. Uh, lift and carry its own uh, GN blade. I, would, I, I would assume you it should. Answered? Oh my god! It should. Here we <laughs> Please go. Please tell me. It, Here we it, go. Mechanically, it's actually designed to lift up the heavy weapons because they have locking elbow joints, so they can oh, hey, they're hold up a heavy weight. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks yeah. for the redeem, uh, uh, V. If you were talking, uh, we I have no Mama. idea what you said. It's literally a case of they have a lot of the double O's have specialist locking elbows. Okay. So they're actually designed to hold up heavy weight. Okay. So if you wanted to lift that blade, he could because it's got a locking elbow mechanism. Oh. So you okay. can actually build it without them and they'll still hold up the blade because the joint is pretty tight fit. Yeah. But they have got a designed locking elbow to help with it. Oh, okay. A lot of the larger double O kits have it. Even my seven source oh, has it as well. Nice. I, I actually had no idea. It's a nice little special feature of it. It, it makes it able to lift a lot of weight. X uh, holds up its web. Let me... Masquerade, amazing. But, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, our next kit is from... It is from Twitter. Uh, this is by uh, Crayon Eater at underscore Revy. And it is the, uh, of course, it's the good old aerial. How many arrows have we looked at? I think, I yes. think it's our third. And uh, it's almost like I would love to see kit. even more. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, arrows really are great. Oh, yeah. I, I never get what tired of that kit? shade of baby blue. Eh. Wasn't there, well, actually, wasn't there, we saw the... one where I think someone did like a, a matte version of it and it was like a darker blue. Do you guys remember that? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, as usual, the arrow's nice, chunk, well, nice, chunky, oh. fits together well. Them thighs, though. Thick, thick thighs. I, I do like that the G Witch kits don't use polycaps. Like, yes, in the future, Dang. that probably means they're going to be floppy as shit, but... Probably. Actually, in my experience, um, kids without so many polycaps actually stay together a lot longer. Oh, really? Polycaps have a tendency to uh, expand over time. Yep. So they yeah, get floppy well quick, especially yeah. if you're playing around with them a lot. Okay. That reminds me. Well, speaking of kids without polycaps, that reminds me, I need to finish my Zaku 2 Revive for, for next... Uh, for the next podcast, Zaku Two Live is a it, not imposable. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, no, I've barely built, built, well, built much of it, but I I love what I've seen so far. The revive kits in general seem like they just did it perfectly. It's a well designed kit. I, uh, medic, I'm gonna have to show your shiny boy for the next kit. Uh, next, uh, next stream. Unfortunately, they didn't make the list. Oh. Well, then we see the shiny boy next week. We'll see the shiny boy next week. Uh, I, but I am starting to feel like the aerial is becoming a case of build one, gain two. You know what I'm saying, guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. You yeah. build one, you gain two. 
You, well, you gain an aerial, and you gain a well, and you gain a dead child. Oh my god. That- yeah. That pun deserves a backhand. Game. Um, but anyways, Crayon Eater, uh, this was a lovely build. Uh, we always love seeing aerials. Uh, very well done. Uh, thank you so much for uh, letting us show it off. Our next kit is by, uh, you guys are going to remember, uh, Chubbs. He's from Twitter, and he always has, uh, I believe he's in chat as well, he has incredible uh, painting skills. And here is another of his wonderful work uh this oh, is shit. i believe is the uh oh, Gira yeah. doga heavy armament type yeah, yeah that's the Gira doga doga i remember it from uh gpo2 because it has a lot of yeah weapons again phenomenal Gira doga uh, yeah i never really touched like i said i don't play anything besides support it's it's this a support unit. It, it is a support unit, them. isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Okay, let me rephrase that. I don't play anything besides my super gun and the Hizot custom or a Gigan. <laughs> I really oh my like god! That. You gotta expand. Job, I, I want to paint. Why would I expand when I can just kill? When I can just slaughter people with, with a missile barrage? Oh my god! Look, you need to. If anything, you really need to use the Gear Doga. Okay. And do you know why? Because yeah, yeah, you, 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 you want to die to a JJ? Because a... Sig okay. Zeon. That's why. No. That's Zeon's why. dead. It's and, been dead. And, um, but more importantly, uh, let's talk about this kit because the coloring is, uh, the color separation is uh, phenomenal. Uh, we have like the light browns and then you have like the, like, the dark blacks. Darker blacks. And they meld together really well. I like how also too is that it's like a bra I think it's I don't know, Chubbs, you can tell me. Like the coils are kind of like a bronze, but slightly gold. Mm-hmm. And they don't they they do. They they color separate very well. Like they don't take away from the kit at all, and it just kind of like feels like it fits. Uh, you, you know what, Chubbs? I, I really want you to paint. like paint Ooh. my riser. My PG riser, I would send that for you to paint how good you are at this, bud. Good job. Yeah, fantastic. It, it uh, He used copper paint for the coils. Oh, wow. Hand painted. Yeah. That is dedicated. I can see the copper look. That's real nice, though, the color. That's really good. Somebody uh, get Chubbs on the payroll, damn it. <laughs> get, yeah, yeah, get no, Chubbs like, on the payroll. <laughs> Get him his own Patreon. I, especially the uh, the. This is just so damn impressive. Yeah, it is. the uh, The weapons look amazing. Uh, Everything just about the kit is just awesome. I think Chubbs just comes here every week and just needs to like basically fill Uh, his heart with praise. You know, that's what he's here. I'm I'm just gonna pat him on his head for a bit. He's a good boy. We're just gonna pet his ego. You know, just just a quick (laughs) um, question. Chubb's the one that sponsors you, right? No. Uh, no. The uh, sorry, the name confused oh. me. Uh, I'm sponsored by AD Hub, not A- Chubbs. <laughs> but Chubbs, <laughs> if you uh, if you want to paint some of my kits, uh, feel free. You know, I'll send them over. Uh, wonderfully done. The also this the uh, are these decals water slide decals because they look amazing as well. I assume they're water slide. They look like- fantastic. You know, they look real good. It makes me feel good as well when more of his builders Love get slides. Slides and, nice and dry dangers are some of the all around. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Really, really good, Chubbs. Thank you um, for your submission. Again, we, uh, we're going to be looking for more of your work in the future. Please keep submitting. Uh, our next kit is from at sh underscore kraken. Kraken? It is actually a customized G cell. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, we don't see a lot of G cells. Ooh. We, ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Props for G cells. Oh, that's a. That's a I, uh, it looks like the GL. Self. I like. Yeah, yeah the GL. People like making the dreaming it. People like making the G self look evil. I that's don't know because why, the G self is weird. evil. I mean, yes, it is, evil. but. It's the most child-friendly murder machine this side of Ariel. Look, I mean, it's the 
I mean, those have you guys seen? Don't say, please come in. Those feet are like I'm gonna oh, no, wait, grab that's not, you and um, crush you with my feet. That's not custom. That's not a custom painted. That's the um. That's the GLs from Build Diver. Yeah, uh, from one of the Build Divers. Oh, stories. is it really? Yeah, build Divers. Oh. Yeah. Wait, but is, your, it, is it painted is differently all, at all? Good. Um, that's the color scheme for the GLs. Oh my god, it's from it one of the, it's from like the manga. Um, where a person, yeah, basically uh, took the uh, the G cell, the G cell made that. Reminds me a bit of the well, of the code fee, but I guess that's just because they use the same base model. Also, oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> it's feet basically reversed, so the feet are the G cell's actual feet. Yeah, but you know, I love the fucking claws. Yeah, I want this kit. It looks awesome. Holy crap. Is it, but is yeah, it a but, villain kit? Yeah, it's a villain. Uh, let yeah. me check. I think. Yeah. It might just belong to an edgelord. Regardless, I mean, it's, it's divers, crazy looking. It doesn't surprise me. It does look like it may may have been custom painted. I can't... It, the one on the wiki looks a lot more red. But it might just be different I mean, in... It might be lighting. I mean, sorry, not... looks a lot more pink. It might be lighting. I don't know. Oh, but it looks amazing regardless. Super clean. Uh, I, the first go makes it look the best. I, I love that. Come at me, bro. Yeah, I that, love that's that. That's probably nice. Really well done. Thank you for letting me uh It really, letting it really me show does this. like mm -hmm. a, oh, you're approaching me, Vice. Come at me, mate. You know. Yeah, where, where's I the mean, the G-Self can you? literally un unleash antimatter particles, so I would not want to come near him. Yeah, I think we got a clip I saw a while ago of like a like a I guess a copy of the Phoenix because it wasn't the actual Phoenix versus the G self and it just somehow activated its own NPD. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Dude, literally I mean, a clip where it's just fairness really to that situation. Uh Mask isn't a new type, he couldn't use the Phoenix to the full capabilities. And I will say well, yeah, there obviously. is a literal clip of it just releasing anti-model particles with a new backpack onto a battlefield and watching people just disappear. Wow. Like that's what happens. They just people on both sides just start like popping. Like just, they're mixing everything because it's you know, know it's what really in matter um, touch like in seed and the the uh, No 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 oh, like you just are gone. Yeah. It's just yeah. remember when matter touches antimatter particles. It's gone. What happens? And you're gone. Things explode. You just see you just see a big flash of fire, then they're gone. They're so making everything so gone. You're saying that they're inevitable. You know, it's really fucking telling about the general parallel of the G self that well that everyone kind of for well that the entire show manages to just gloss over the fact that a different machine has the well, has the moonlit butterfly. Oh, yeah. No one cares about oh. no one cares about the turn A Gundam. <laughs> wow. I mean the G Lucifer wow. or in this case, Yay. but I yeah, heard no. that, hey. oh, And wow. it's true. This uh I like this Listen, I don't like the turn A, but I love the turn X. This wonderful kit is um, the from from our Discord. It is by uh, Zik Zion, and it's the Zagat. Oh, I, I love me a stabby lumpy boy. It is a beautiful, a beautiful kit. Look at that! I need Holy to grab me a raid Zagak because I want one. Th this is how you Zagak are fun, basic into cool and good. Yeah. Mm. That's how you move oh, up into grade, the cool the cool wall, you know? Is this a high grade or a real grade? Well, it's gotta be real grade, right? Look at all those panels. The high grade I, is more anime accurate. I think it's well, a, he could scribe. You could scribe them on. I don't know. I guess. It could be master grade. Maybe. Is there a Maybe. master grade Zagok? Well, yeah, it's there's definitely there's, there's a master grade yeah. Char Zagok. Uh, no, that they could have painted blue. Zagok too. I believe I don't know. It's a real. It's a real. Oh, Zig Zeon's here. It's yeah, a real, real grade. grade. Yes, I think you're right because mm. the panel line, like all the uh, different panels and stuff. Yeah, it no, like not even match grade. grades can get that green. It's, it's really what good. Pinocchio wanted to be a oh real grade. God, it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks oh, so freaking grade. wicked. See, see, if you put this on the cool wall over the basic bitch picture you put up, this would have gone up <laughs> higher. <laughs> Oof. I don't know. I don't tend to take extraneous detailing into account. Like, I, I love the Zagok for what it is. Oh, well, a stretchy arm, stabby boy that's get her three with legs. <laughs> I actually put the Zagok over uh, a bunch of the other Aqua suits that Z made. 
Let, wow. Yeah, no, the Zagok's honestly the best. The only one really coming close being the High Gog. I, I uh, guess the Zagok and High Gog are probably my favorites. I just want to say, like, uh, commend you for all the uh, stickers slash water slides you put on it. It just and adds not, oh, so much. And they all look kit. perfect. Yeah, it looks amazing. I like, don't. Ha I don't know about you guys, but I don't have the patience to put on those many. You know. I uh, have the I patience. Do. I don't have the skill. One would wind up. Uh, I don't have the eyesight. I'm mostly oh, just oh. handling the shoulders because I don't like the shoulders looking plain. Apparently, I didn't well, know this, but I just looked it up. Apparently, the photon torpedo, the antimatter weapon I talked about, was apparently made to counter the moonlit butterfly. <laughs> Are we still on about, about turn A? Weren't you the one that said Frick, no one likes the turn A? No, I was on G self. What are you oh, talking about? Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, no, like this just one, yes. Yes. The butterfly the night immediately. But oh, listen, the butterfly eight. exists outside of turn A. It's also an extreme versus. Also, the also I will say this Zagok is very nicely yeah. done. Even the Zagok, the Zagok very good. I mean, Zagok. I, mean I will say when these wonky like uh you know underwater suits looked like they actually could exist. Wait, it shows how far we are with Gunpla, honestly. Yeah. Um, Zixion also has a, uh, another kit to show, but we're going to show that off, uh, next week. And, uh, it is really, really good as well. Oh, so, baby. uh, Zixion, thank you so much for, um, letting us show this off and, uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, the next kit we're going to show off, uh, is by Cerberus. He's in our discord. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. it's this big chonky boy uh, that's the size of a master grade, but is a high grade. Oh, the nine. So yeah, I remember nine, walking yeah. into a local hobby stop, shop for the first time a year or two ago after moving. Yeah. I mean, and seeing the nightingale on the shelf was like, it's that fucking big? <laughs> yes. Nightingale's huge. It is. Uh, and I would love to have one there with my real grade. Like, it always looks so stumpy, but then you realize it's, no, it's the height of a Sazabi with oh, with that big of shoulders. Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. This there, and the there's a PS4 monster. controller for comparison. It's Size comparison. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Like, it, it, still, it still looks like a fucking dwarf that's about to beat you to death, but... The Nightingale has always been kind of a weird thing where it's like more... They wanted to make more is more for the Shar's counterattack, so they gave Armor a bigger Gundam and gave Shar a bigger everything. Zeon look. I mean, <laughs> give it a bigger everything. Doesn't the night doesn't the Nightingale and the High New actually predate the movie designs? I don't um, yes. know. Uh, yes, but because I, I uh, they were like, initially novel. yes. They I were think the no, like because there's there's the High Streamer designs. There's the Beltorchka Children designs, which are these. And then there's the movie designs. And yeah. like, if you've seen the original High Street designs, you suddenly know why the Z Gundam looks like that. Yeah. God damn, this thing is massive. I don't I'm understand. I, don't, it actually is I don't understand how it would fight against either the High New or the normal New Gundam. I'm just like, it'll uh, waddle around. Shoulder and checks. I'm shoulder check. And there are parts that remind me of the O. So yep. it wouldn't surprise me if Shaw took some design elements from that. Like, the sub arms Honestly, in the, in the, the, uh, in the uh, skirts. You've got to remember and just the, the general size. My my or question is why does the gun have a stand, a collapsible stand on it? Like that is I a very oh, that's good right. question. This gun does have a bipod on it. Yeah, why? Like, like, I don't this see is a metal very... going down on its stomach. I guess to, because like, Char thought it looked cool. Yeah, because like this is a machine that's clearly meant for fighting in space exclusively. Would you like to uh, why did it have a bipod? a bipod? Because it can mount itself on an asteroid. Oh, also, oh. Oh. You, uh, oh. comment the, uh, the the O comparison. If you look at the bottom of the picture, it does have the sub arms. Yes, you see. Yes, yeah. uh, my pool's yeah, in the, the way. This kit but gets big love from there. me because it inspired Bandai to do things like the Penelope and the Z Gundam at the size they are. So yep. they're, they're lovely big kits, and you can do a lot with them as well. Like this. He's done a great job, like big thumbs up. You Huge can do a lot up. of customizing Out. with stuff like the Nightingale like quite easily. Yeah, very well done. Uh, I mean, th this always Nightingale always insane. gets a vote in my book because it's one of my favorite mobile suits in all of Gundam. It's absolutely <laughs> wild, you know. 
Well, see, I'm not, waiting not for it to make its triumphant return to it's Super too, Robot Wars. It's too silly for looking for me. Like, the high new looks like the normal evolution of the new Gundam. This looks like someone decided, I want bigger everything. It's not going to be able to it's be, char, of course. But chunk. Our, uh, Does it actually even... Well, no, it does carry Char, more funnels. I guess Char wanted his own mobile. Yeah, this armor. thing carries way more funnels than the base of uh, Sasabi. Yeah, He's like the Sasabi only has six. Yeah, this has like yeah, what, and yeah, th this thing was basically it was basically a mobile armor with legs. That's that's basically what this thing actually I, is. I would love. Okay, a real so wait, wait, what, 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 what's the fucking development thing? Char, we created well, we created a new mobile armor, the Alpha Zero. Cool, put legs on it. I um, yeah, I, I want, exactly, and that's what the nightingale the, is. Just like Chubb says, yeah, like uh, being, I'd um, wish for a real grade, hundred percent. I just noticed the weird cloth pattern in between well, on the joints. I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah I, very I NASA say, inspired stuff. Yeah, it's weird. This looks like the evolution of the thing that Quest uh, piloted. Yeah. Our um, no, what? thank you um, thank you, Cerberus Wh for whatever quest Mariah was 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 flying. I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, the Alpha Zero. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, um, Cerberus, for uh, letting Charge us uh, my, uh, show off the, the Nightingale. Uh, thank you so much. Profile. Uh, our next kit, um, it's a bit of a grenade, and uh, we have okay, so uh, one, uh, one of no. our own members no. here that can uh, no, God, kind no, of uh, kind of explain uh, more about their uh, their kit. Please, uh, Fluffy V. Please, God, no. Explain. Uh -oh. The Explain Victory it. Assault Shroud. Explain. Yeah, this is the Master Grade um, I'm for Victory my Assault to catch Monster. Up. There we are. Also, I like apologize this. for the okay, baby being pan carved down the road. Why was someone freaking out over the fact that it's the Buster V2? It's I like me this. Me freaking thing. out because I built this thing. This oh, is Fluffy uh, V's kit. I like it. Yeah, it's so good. Someone. I, I like it yeah. myself. the The problem with the has anyone here actually built a Master Grade Victory Two? No, uh, exactly no. no. So I'm assuming it, it, the reason it's a grenade is because it needs to separate into its core no. fighter and the like, in addition to all the armor. The core fighter is not even the problem. The core fighter is the fact that the core fighter is the chest mounting. It's not a core fighter like you'd expect to go inside. The core fighter is the chest. It took me oh, two hours to get the chest to actually mount to the body because the back brace has to go into place perfectly. Otherwise, the entire top section just bursts free. And then that's not even to add that the shoulders are literally held on by magic. That waist <laughs> part is held on by God knows what thin air. <laughs> by magic. It's like the entire kit while you're building it wants to fall apart in your hands. And that's yeah, it what looks I've, good. That's what it no wonder it looks, looks amazing. amazing. It looks. Broke, broke this thing. It looks amazing. The amount of amazing. effort. Well, I appreciate you guys being nice, but the amount of effort that goes into making this suit. Like you remember, you remember me going on about the Sentinel being a bit tricky because it's got yeah. multiple small parts. Yeah, this was so much more frustrating to build than a Sentinel. Oh, like, the, damn. Payoff is, the payoff is worth it, right? Yeah, no, that, that genuinely looks okay. amazing. Oh, yeah. And the, the yeah. color palette is great. That That's the actual color palette that comes with the kit. I haven't modified it with paint or anything. So it I love good, the victory. I will that's be honest the with you guys. the best gold I've seen yet. Yeah, the gold is great. But I'll so be you honest with how... you. If you're looking at a victory Gundam, get yourself the regular Burkar because... The assault buster is freaking it's nightmare fuel to build. I'm I'm talking like two hours to get the chest mount to the body, um, three hours to just get the arm mounts into place. Yeah. Two hours of the legs. The backpack unit took me an hour and it nearly made the chest break open again and again. The amount of right, headaches Jesus. to put it together is a nightmare. Sounds terrible. It looks good. If you're willing to go through the nightmare, yes. Otherwise, get yourself a regular victory because it looks just as good to the. So same my color. question is: Is there is it possible to pose it or not? No. If you if you move any element of this kit, some it's going to break away, and oh it's God. extremely oh. fragile mounting. Like I had to do it this way. 
it's gone on the shelf and every time i move this my thumbs have to go onto the knee joints and my fingers on the back of the calves that's the only way it'll move it if i touch that chest it's going to explode oh it's oh very my fragile God. Well, for anyone who's uh, looking to buy a Victory uh, Assault Buster, uh, don't. If you're going to buy one, get the real grade because they retooled the fittings on the real grade. Yeah, uh, I agree. Wait, news there's I a real get. grade version wait, of there's this? There's a real grade? I'm sure there's a real grade of it. Unless I I'm making I mean, it's, it's Victory. When, what the nine? Ben doesn't care about Victory. It might be a high grade, and I'm just mixing them up. I again. do have a high grade oh, in my closet that I've been meaning to build. It might be a high grade, actually. Yeah, I, I also really have the resin too. upgrade kit for the uh, for the original release somewhere, but I and don't also, know how to I'll build that. I'll give you another warning with this kit, right? If you're thinking, get the victory, and then, ooh, I'll get the Assault Buster expansion pack, <clears> don't be stupid, folks. Why? But beast, I'll be straight with you. It's cheaper still to get them in one. But this kit still cost me $170 to get my hands on. Oh, God. Yeah, and I no, paid $170 for a nightmare. I, I checked. There's no real grade. It's the high grade. Oh, my it's God. It's a high grade. The high $170 a lot easier, for this master grade. The kit is not in reprint plans is the problem. And they are dwindling. Like, I got this last year, and they were in short supply then. So you will get caught trying to buy this kit in one. Oh, oh my God. But the Victory 2... Is still quite a good amount of stock. So, yeah, get yourself a victory too. If you really want this, just be prepared for a nightmare and you will not pose it. If you really want it, don't. Yeah. Again, <laughs> I'm willing to go. I, I'm honest with you I guys. tracked down I the fucking B Club kit for the original you know, to get it, well, to get an assault buster. I can, I'm I willing to deal the with the master Banshee. grade. I have the Banshee and I hated the original. Unicorn Master grade because it broke on me. Yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, re I really do love the way the kit looks. It looks great on the shelf, great colors, but every time I look at it, it's one of those kits I look at and it gives me a twitch. The, you know, um, I'm talking like Demo Man level twitch. Would you give this to your worst enemy? I wouldn't give this to my worst enemy. I'd rather give my worst enemy a Sentinel over this. Oh my God. Um, because at least the Sentinel I can pose and turn into a G cruiser. If I try and take the core fire out of this, I'll never get it back together again. Jeez. V, do you want to do a, uh, you know, a uh, um, a good old pl well, the plug that I'm literally, plug. I'm literally about to go to. Yeah, I always build these nightmares for fun on stream. I'm always on Thursday, Saturday, and Sundays. If you guys want to help out, always wonderful to have new people there. Got Pokemon, got killed. Currently on the Astray Red Frame. And then I'm going to be on the blue frame after that. So always appreciate it. And yeah, it's wonderful to be here as always. Because I love all you guys and I love all you guys that watch. Thank you, V. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Aww. Shut Thank your you. face and get back to work. Thank you. <laughs> our, um, our next kit is by another Discord member. It is uh, from David126771. It is the gun cannon variant of the old 2004 gun cannon mass production type and the new high grade uh, Dones Island gun oh. cannon. Oh, Dude, oh I love Ooh. the, the uh, I will just say mass. now that I love it, but I do have to jump off. So carry on, guys. Uh, take you care all. of you. See you next time. Uh, I also got to keep up the great oh. build. Uh, I, okay. Take care. I normally, see. I stick around for the yeah. cool wall, but I but I woke up in a series of aches and pains. And I think I'm gonna lie back down. So all I right. love this gun cannon, but I, I'm also honey out. So sorry, I, uh, that's all right. Uh, Mecha Wolf, I'm counting on you to rep the gym. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah. Right. So we got uh, this is the gun cannon. Um, it's a uh, kit bash, production. and uh, oh. yeah, it looks awesome. There's another picture of it. Oh, I, yeah, those aren't the normal guns it has. They're usually shorter and more like shotgunish. Yeah, I think those are from the uh, gun can. I it's the one from uh, <clears throat> Unicorn, but I don't remember its name. Yeah, this this pose here looks really really nice. I like I don't know I like the head. The headpiece is like super. Yeah, I've awesome. always liked the headpiece yeah, of I the like MPD gun cannon. Got another shot here. I wish we got more of it, but we don't because they have to look at this camphor that dies immediately. <laughs> I like this kit a lot. I li I like what you did with it, David. It looks really sweet. Like, yeah. I'm not a big fan of Fetty suits, but you know. 
I know your lack gonna, of taste is no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my bias aside here and say I like this. This is my saving grace in GBA two in my early days. This is what got me into this, into sports so well because <laughs> this is a good it's a good start so starting support. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very nice kit, Dave. Thank you, thank you so much. You did a really good, really really good job. Uh, the next kit. What's our next kit here? It is by Frisky Walrus. Um, it is the. Uh, it looks like it's the. Mm, I want to say the Master Grade. Uh, it's the high, high new. Gun new. Of Everyone loves the high new, including everybody me. loves the high new. Everybody does, except uh, for the Zeons that dest get destroyed by it. Yeah, except for exactly. that. Exactly. Uh, I actually really like the V funnel effects. Though. <laughs> yeah. Was that some, uh, oh, is this typical grade high new? Oh, it's the OG oh, yeah, it Master be. Grade High New. Damn. Yeah, it's the OG. Dang. Uh, we got is that like what's in the background there? We got is it is that some like kind of like um I think I think he was watching a food video. Ramen or something here? What do we got going on in the background here? Uh I like uh, the funnel effects, but I hate the stands for them. They look a yeah, little they're floppy. Yeah, that's the problem with funnel stands is depending on they're how big the funnel is, they'll uh you know they'll either droop or they're not too uh they're not, they don't go high enough. If they're not big, if they're big, then they're obviously gonna droop. When did when did the OG Master Grade come out? Like this, it still looks amazing. Late nineties, early two thousand, I think. Wow, it just, looks just awesome. From the still. style of the hands, just judging from the style of the hands, that's yeah. early two thousands, I think. Oh, look, like for an older kit, I, I'm telling, it looks really nice. It helps that the high is actually a very very nice looking kit anyway. Yeah. Hold, holding the gun to marker. Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like definitely early 2000s looking at the hands because it's that sort of stuck claw mm. kind of feet mm -hmm. kind of look. We are I always do like the head of the high new and the body. Yeah, it's a really good kit. Uh, I have the Verka and I really like the Verka version. I have no version of the new or high new, but I have the real great. But I haven't built it yet, like an idiot. It's just been stuck in my backlog. Oh, those um, those pieces like in the funnel are actually like clear pieces. Like, I didn't even know that. Like it's showing the uh the effect of uh, I guess like I don't know, like the laser effect of it. That's like really just cool. yeah, it's fires. when the beam cannon fires. Yeah, I I didn't realize it's that. It's not really cool. typical beam. It's like a like an electromagnet kind of it's oh not boy. a rail gun per se, but it's like a it kind of like one uh, I mean the funnels on the new and high new do all kinds of things they can project yeah. shields, they can shoot lasers oh yeah, is it like the aerial? Can make. no it's not like the aerial because it can't do literally everything I think it can only project <laughs> shields the and shoot lasers the aerial is copying the <laughs> high new yeah, that's, I, I, by the way that you guys are describing what they can do, it seems like uh, like they kind of copied it. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, they copied some things. There's only like two things that it can do. It's the shield projection that... The and big shooting. It's what I call the pyramid shield yeah. and shooting, yeah. 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 Or I call it my pyramid and, defense. It's called the defense mode, but I just call it the pyramid that's why, defense. It's why I like um, Universal Sentry bits and funnels because they're not the answer the, uh, all like they could be easily taken out and uh yeah yeah like when you the, see uh, someone fighting the cubile you see them struggling but they're able to still beat them because it's hard controlling that many funnels yeah well obvious well now <laughs> we know that it wasn't actually started doing that that was a, that was all airy in that but yeah but still you know uh frisky walrus again thank you so much for uh contributing and uh, showing us your love and passion with the uh, OG Master Grade High New. Our next kit is by uh, another Discord member, uh, Aristos, and it is the Freedom Gundam, and it's got like a weathering effect. Oh, that's a Master Grade. Oh, cool. Well, look at that. That looks awesome. I, I like what they did with that. I don't remember what version my Are Freedom... They... Is that like 
doing like a whole thing like uh yeah that's uh, definitely like, not my version or something i'm sorry how old was that oh i was just one, i was just looking at it so slow it looks like the like i don't know the wing fall off during the picture because it looks like the wing got blasted off if, it, it's if on it's the ground the if it's I'm, the high yeah, grade, it. then probably yeah. I'm I'm covering it's it with my uh, with my uh, with my pool. If it's here. the master grade, then it should be it should be fine. I have the high grade. It is trash. It is actual trash. There, like the wings fall off all the time. There's uh, with it with the wings. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's a master grade. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's the master grade two point. Right? Uh, is it the two point Um. Air sauce? Actually, yeah, no, yeah, it is. It's um the uh, uh the detail. Is, it is. Yeah, it is. The detailing is like off the charts, awesome. And, yeah, I do like the weathering. And uh, I, I am noticing that uh, you're being very careful with the legs because uh, the the pegs that go into the legs are notorious for snapping off. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. 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 I mean, if oh. you're careful with them, they, they'll the last a very, long time. Yeah, yeah. The legs are very weak on them for some reason. I don't know why. Because they tried to be fancy with it. I, I love it. You know, I'm ne I was never a fan of the Freedom or the Strike Freedom. But uh, now that I'm seeing the Master Grade 2.0 version, uh, really nice kit. <laughs> uh, really actually, nice. fun, the Eclipse has the exact same... Uh, exact same hips so which is why i've never tried to transform it because i'm afraid to break it uh we got some more poses with the beam saber it looks really sweet um yeah i, I don't know um <laughs> i try not to move them the the weathering i actually really kind of like on it i really like someone had some t i can't remember who had some tips but there was someone who tried to do some weathering as well and if you like if you weather the edges darker and then like bring it out lighter you get much better effects apparently but i actually really like how you weathered this i know you say it's uh happy little mistakes but i love it i think happy it looks little really just happy little accidents. yeah happy little accident sorry happy little accident. yeah it looks really really good i like it it was your first oh, time it looks nice. great yeah i mean it looks great mm -hmm. i like it a lot everyone does tear here too uh, again, mm -hmm. that was by Aristos, and that he's a Discord member. Thank you so much for uh, submitting it. And our next kit, I believe, it is by another fellow podcast member. It is uh, Kai's kit. Kai, oh, oh, yeah. what would you like to say about your kit here? <laughs> um, it's a man from... Uh... Gunner Builders is best man, and uh, you cannot change my mind. <laughs> what, um, uh, all honesty, what kit is it? This kit, was, uh, this is the Gundam fr I, I gotta actually look it up, because it is a weird name. Uh, the Wing Gundam uh, the Venice Yeah, the Fenice Re Reconquista or something like oh, that. Oh, Reconquista, Reconquista, yeah, okay. Yeah, because uh, it, it's it, it's a rebuild of the of the original wing he had, yeah. but like with a lot of seed elements uh, thrown in there. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, the green in the uh, in the chest is actually from the uh, uh, a Gundam marker I used. Yeah, it's, yeah, and it's the, the Gundam wing. Itself, there's those there's those stickers. In the, on the kit, but I decided just to paint, just to panel the hell out of those. Where were the stickers going? And then, uh, the stickers on the uh, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, like on the inside of the vents, those are supposed to be black. Like they're okay. on, they're part of the green on the on the chest. Okay. And then the circles on on the shoulders, those are stickers. But I decided no, because I hate stickers. Yep. And I painted these too. Now, does it come, um, maybe it's like, because this is like his second or, or third um, it's his form, It's the second right? kit. And it's the second form. What's the one that has like the two different colored eyes? That's his, that's the one he mostly uses. That's like, yeah. um, um, 
that's the kit he's been using for years and every time he's upgraded it has all just for the sake of upgrade rather than style okay what and you, as far as i know this is what uh no keep going uh as far as i know this is the one that actually transforms into his into the bird mode and his second one the bird mode is just like a motorcycle that's so weird what did very um, weird state in the episode what did you think of the uh the transformation is it easy does it like fit right Transformation is actually not that bad. Yeah. Um, like obviously the only bit of parts forming, I guess, is you take the hands off and you put the shield over the face, like typical wing Gundam. But all in all, it's actually not that bad. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that the legs don't lock in. Oh, hmm. like, are they, they loose they if just... you try to move it around? Oh no, this thing is solid as hell. Okay. It's probably one of the most solid build fighters things. I've built since the strike since the uh build strike uh i like your uh your your pictures that you've took taken they're very uh yeah they're very photogenic yeah exactly photogenic oh, the poses are great um does the uh does the uh buster rifle like separate at all or anything like that oh yeah i i've taken a lot of pictures that i was only gonna take like a few of them and okay. send them over obviously yeah yeah but uh, buster rifle does separate into a normal buster rifle and then like a sort of sub buster rifle okay and then a sort of sub machine gun kind of oh, thing oh okay but it also pulls as another beam saber oh wow like and you can have it as like a beam bayonet oh sweet i think i think that effect is in one of the uh in one of the ones where i have the uh energy capes on but i don't remember yeah, I you can uh, kind of see it, see the uh, bust rifle yeah, on the bolts. bottom there. Yeah, you can kind of see, you can tell it can separate. Yeah, uh, but yeah. And also, can, can it, I just say something just a little bit on the controversial side? Uh, I actually like this version of the Wing Gundam better than the Wing Zero Custom. Excuse you? I mean, I've never you know really what? liked the big giant angel wings. I agree with you because the angel wings they grew on me, but I still prefer the mechanical wings. Uh, I'm a big fan of the, the wing custom, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, you've made that very clear. I heresy, well, yeah, exactly. it's part of your model heresy. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I like mean, I said they grew on me. Mm. I, I didn't say that they were that they're the le my least favorite Gundam wings. Yeah, overall, overall, uh, what would you give this kit out of ten? Ten out of ten. Out of ten. Eleven out of ten. Wow. So you really you really like this kit? Oh yes, I loved it. I love building it. I love posing it. It's the it's like one of the three I have on my desk right now. Nice. Along with my Masquerade F ninety and the uh Origin Gundam I'm trying to turn into a command Gundam. Very nice. Uh Kai, thank you uh for showing this uh kit to us. Now I know you do builds on your on a, on your stream. Please do a yep. shameless plug. Yeah, um, the oh, cutting out for me. I kind of type I out of uh, right going through a bit of a souls. Um, finished taking a bit of a break, but I will be returning to uh, um, build on Sunday afternoon with the uh, high grade Gundam Barbatoros because I'm pretty much in a dark uh, is right now, so okay. And what's uh, what's your uh, uh, Stream handle. Uh, sorry, I thought I said it. Um, Kai score prototype. Nice. Thank you, Kai. Okay, let's go on to our what's our next kit here? Ah, our next kit is actually not Gunpla. It is actually from it's uh, Gunbuster. Oh, look at hey, mm -hmm. that looks crazy. Streams catching up. Oh, you wow. guys can see that. Yeah, I can see it. There you go. The gun buster. Yeah, I've uh, I've actually never seen this before. Um, so I'm kind of relatively new to it. Do you guys know what, what was this a kit or is this a figure? I think it's a kit. I'm pretty sure it's a kit. And because you can kind of tell uh, from the arm on the plate there. And there's a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, I do see nuts. a few. I see there's oh, an yeah. arm of the plate, and then there's a few seams I see in it. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, it looks like there's an extra arm. 
There's the posability. It looks super clean. Holy crap. Yeah, it does. And uh, who's really this is by uh, Valnek from Discord. Um, yeah, I, I love this. It, it's so different. I don't really, I don't think I've ever seen a uh, gunbuster. So um, I'm not too familiar with it. If you guys seen it or uh, know more. Um, this is actually a really, really good take on the design of gunbuster. It's a little bit more realistic than the, um, than the, uh, uh, the anime version It's a little bit more smoothed out, but I like it with all the panel lines in it. This is actually a really good kit. Yeah. I, I want to see that. I don't have a good picture of the head, but I wanted to see the head a bit better. Um, but it's really dark, so I can't. Oh, the really... the head design is my favorite part of this. Of, yeah. Of this in particular, it's it's yeah, so all cool I can looking. See is the crest. I can only see the crest. I'll have to look up the gunbuster to see to see it from. Above. But um, yeah, that looks phenomenal. I I love this. Uh, I didn't yeah. even know this was a kit, but damn. Um, there's other this robots is, that are uh, like, amazing. Uh, I love the rubber kick because I'm I, I love one writer. That's really good. I like it. Yeah, looks fantastic. Thank you, uh, Valnak, for uh, showing us this wonderful gun uh, gunbuster. Um, our next kit is um, is basically a from a community. Um, Zionic uh, Shadow um, I'm, I is part of like. Um, I guess they're a, a community build and they're called uh Zeke New York. And um you can find some of them on Instagram. Oh yeah. Uh this one that I'm gonna show you guys, um, this is uh from Instagram handle is mech underscore Dio. It is the oh. L30 uh sla uh dash three HMT Soul Burza High Mobility Mobile Suit. Holy shit. I'm waiting for my Let's job. See if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, okay. Was this I'm like gonna... a custom creation or does this exist in something else? This is a custom I'm not creation. With this one. Custom I can, let me, creation. I can tell because those are the legs of the warts. That is the head of the warts. That is the torso of, I think, yeah. some form of the Wing Gundam. The shoulders, though, I think might be from the strike. Oh, there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's another pick. Look oh at that! That looks amazing. And, and yeah, oh, the, that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's the well, backpack's that's definitely cool. from the F Strike Freedom. Holy yeah. hell! Holy crap! Where are the Where are the legs from? The legs look weird from what I can. I'm I don't know actually. I'm I'm a little bit stumped on that one. Right. This this is a mate. I love the head. I mean, the design just works so well. It works surprisingly well. They put the small yeah, like with the, the, the head of it. With like the the bigger head, it kind of reminds me of um Oh, what was to... that gun? What was that Gundam-looking mobile suit okay. called from Universal Century? The Hazel. The Hazel, yeah, yeah. And the Hazel. Yeah, they, I mean, it's using bits of the either the Wolves Warts or the Hazel because the Hazel it too is just the Wool Warts, but with a few a more bits. Exia in this is the Exia. Yeah, the I do see a lot of Exia too. Exia, the Exia is point. the chest the piece. Wart. Maybe Exia or maybe the Curios. I think the chest piece. The chest piece looks like it's the double of Quan. Double O Quanta. Yeah, the, yeah, it's not the uh, maybe. Yeah, I think the that's what that the, is. I think it's a double O Quanta. The legs oh, are definitely the Exia. Yeah, I think the arms are the Exia. Yeah. yeah, I could see. I could see the arms. Mm. I like the big thighs, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn, that's amazing. Big thighs don't lie. <laughs> yeah, uh, double O Quant. Yeah, yeah, double O Quant. Okay. Wow, this is phenomenal fantastic. and. I, I'm I, I love the double quant like a lot. I love the quant. This looks like the term more than the actual glow. This looks like the for a term like space angel, quite literally. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh now, now these are gun wings I actually like. This is <laughs> this definitely has like crazy shelf presence for sure. Yeah. Why is this giving me deoxys? I don't know why. 
I don't know. It's well, well, it, that's not a bad thing. It's just giving me oxygen spikes for some reason. Yeah. I mean, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, the other kit uh, from the uh, Sieg New York um, crew, it's from uh, Instagram, is okay. I might mess this up. It's DRTI Tridgler. Tridgler. Um, and it's an awesome take on the Sazabi. It is the Sazabi Amaro Ray Custom. Oh, Whoa, this is crazy okay. looking. It looks I like it's activating is... the Psycho, uh, what the fuck is it called? Psycho Frame? The, the Psycho, psycho Frame yeah, the is psycho exposed. Frame, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Psycho Frame. And this is if uh, oh, the, the, the different timeline where uh, Amaro is piloting the yeah. Sazabi. He's piloting the worst of the two. Do a better you know. job, Char. <laughs> I mean, anyone could do a better job than Char. Wait, so then we need to see. We need to see the. Um, we need Those to see the Gundam Sazabi. Colors. Yeah, no, pretty Sazabi. much the um, the uh, the new Gundam. The in uh, in Char's colors. Didn't we? Don't we already have that with what was that guy's Zeon Man? Yeah, yeah but it wasn't a true, it. true. Uh, the very weird guy who thinks Zeon is a superhero. Zeon is a superhero. Uh, but the uh, the color scheme is Captain like, Warcrime. Captain Warcrime. Yeah, Captain Warcrime. Oh. <laughs> the uh, so I just want to talk about like how well it's painted. I like the how like the psycho frame yeah. kind of like pops. Like the green really pops. I don't know That's how he did some of this. Like, dear nice. God, this is insane. Ah, uh, damn. I uh, like the some yellows. Some people go where. Yeah, I'm trying to see, is it a mono eye? I can't. Oh, oh. it has the mono eye. We'll get. We'll get. I'll get to a better picture of the mono. I, if I, uh, this picture has a bit. Oh, I love it. In. Hard to see it, but um, it's there. Okay, yeah. I mean, that would have been cool to see them to see the Sazabi with two eyes. I mean, not the two round mono eye thing but like the gundam eyes the gundam eyes that would yeah be cool uh the but green uh, apparently cool. glows under black light i do not have oh, a picture so of that but you, you can kind of you can kind of see it in the in the, the paint uh, that they use for the green it is, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it is reacting to black light it's very reflective and this is like the the back of the uh, the kit which looks amazing i wonder if the Omar amount of detail uh, modifications he did to the uh, that he did to the new Gundam's funnels. I mean, he, extra battery. Yeah, I mean he. I mean he did use the DJ at one point. Yeah, uh, true. There's uh, here is kind of like the full back of it. That's like a bigger like, shot of the back. Cow. I keep forgetting the Sosby has a has a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> ass though. <laughs> what what did they just say? <laughs> oh, the, um, the, 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 oh, amazing like, kits. Oh, that, that that's got to be our quote of the week. I no. keep forgetting this. The Sabi has a fat ass. <laughs> I I'm bringing. I, I need to. I, I gotta put that down as my as the like, title when I when I put this on YouTube. There you do go. It. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I live for chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful kit. Um, yeah, it's Dionic Shadow. Thank you uh, for uh, sending me these kits from um, from your boys at uh, Sieg New York uh, on Instagram. Uh, please, uh, if they have more, we would love to show more of it. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent kits. Um, our last um, kit today is i think kai actually mentioned it uh didn't even know it was going to be on here but it's the i did you say it was the i think it was the barbatoro i think Barbatoros? Yeah, the Barbatoros. Yeah, it is um this was entered in a competition and oh, it damn. is by patrick brochu um, oh i love the oh, color oh that's they cool. really changed the color they made it instead of like demonic they made it more like El quite literally like a, a centaur yeah like a centaur yeah 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 it looks interesting I'm phenomenal the dark thing with mine. i'm giving the dark thing with mine because i'm i'm getting a common writer probably ryuki at this point because i can't i mean i already it. have a common writer design and zoom in a bit more yeah, there uh, we go 
I and like plan, like idea I have is like a common rider kick in the the uh, drawn bows like that. I like the idea in my head. I like I mean, how they kind of had like the forest kind of on yeah. the kit as well. How the fuck did they? It, Sometimes like, you just look at these stuff and you're like, how did they do that? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it looking. looks like some of the like, it's not strictly Warhammer, but I see it at uh, one of my local stores for Warhammer for a terrain building. It just kind of just lumped that in the plastic and it looks like instant moss. I, I mean, you'd still have to like shave it down or change it because you can see the blue through there. You can see like. Here's another, oh, yeah, they do. Another picture. They do put, uh, and they might, they might, they might have put the sticker or painted it afterward. Uh, Arif says Maybe, that they built but... the kit recently, and it's and it's just, uh, it is skill to yeah, just. Arados is right. It, it's called flock. Have it. Uh, it's have it together on its own as uh, is a skill in itself. Yeah, flock. Um, yeah, flock. Uh, it's cool. yeah, I agree. Not... Tend to ha tend to part. Like I, there's some. Some hacks that I know I'm gonna have to use, like gluing some parts of the inner frame together. To make sure it doesn't fall apart. One is yeah. Uh, I know the torso needs some love, and I'm, I'm planning on actually mat code when I get around to it. So I think of, of, of all the kits today, this is my favorite, just because it's got like that, like forest, oh. foresty, uh, foresty look to they put it. Their arm yeah, there. I'd had to. I had to give this one a solid, like nine point five out of ten. This is it's this amazing. is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. And uh, unfortunately, I hate to. I'd hate to cut today's episode a little bit short, but yeah. I have to go. Someone is expecting me. Okay. Um. Whatever goes on the cool wall, I guess it's cool. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, I guess it's it. cool. All right, Mecca. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are uh, finished with that segment, and we are going to go on to the segment uh, as we all love to show. Um, it is the cool wall where we uh, have two mystery MSs uh, picked that are grunts, and uh, we decide where they go on the wall. Now, usually we have a uh, most of our cast, uh, but today there's only three of us. So my vote actually holds more weight than all everybody else does, which I is awesome. That. So just like the Zeon, you consider yourself above us, the <laughs> zombie. I knew you were a zombie all along. Okay. I have never betrayed anyone in my entire life. <laughs> just, the, just the one video of Char is a good friend of him murdering Ooh. everyone that ever trusted him. Oh my god. Oh, believe me, I'm putting that into my, into my character analysis. Uh, our first kit. Uh, we have not, I don't think we've ever done any, any um, mobile grunts from Gundam X series. So that's going to be uh, the theme today for these two uh, mobile suits. The first mobile suit is the RMS 006, the Jennies, the Genis. Oh, this, oh, this, this is advantage. thing from this thing is from uh, Gundam uh, X, but I haven't watched a lot of Gundam X, so okay. I just remember this thing getting flattened a lot. It it did it, get flattened. Well, the Zabi Zabi, it's a Zaku lookalike. Looks like I, it's, it's, a, it's very it's similar. Either a high it's either a Hyzak or a Zaku look like, and those things get blown away by just about everything. It, it looks, Unless you're a main character, and that's kind of a given. Yeah, so it's it, either a main bad guy. It definitely um, has the um, you know the um, kind of the similarities and the draws from the Zaku. I like that it has kind of like the the uh, the headpiece. Um, it's got like the the slits, like it's like medieval looking a little bit, which I kind of like. Yeah. Mm. It, that's not a bad design, but yeah. And then you got the backpack, it's, which is kind of weird looking. It's a little bit different. It's, it looks like it, an upside down hack. It backpack. look no, no, no. It looks like uh like a striker pack. Actually, yeah, it kind of. Is. Uh they will. They won't put it in GBO two because it's not it's, a it's yeah not UC. It's not, it's not UC suit. So they literally just grab from UC, it, which is kind of sad because this one looks it awesome. Looks like it's hanging off. <laughs> Looks like it's what? Okay. It's, it looks like a kid hanging. Uh, we oh, are gonna. Yeah. Where are we putting uh the genus? 
Where is it going Ooh. on the wall? You want to go first, Mecca? Um, you know what? I I have a preference that I actually like the Zaku's better in design. Um, your your wrong ideas aren't yeah. are known. <laughs> I like I like the <laughs> looks like a kid hanging off. Uh, I I like the Zaku's uh better in design. So me personally. I don't think it's cool. I'm going to put it in the not cool area. Uh, Kai, where would you put this kit, the Genus? Um, I haven't watched anything of Gun Mechs except for like small clips. Yeah. And that's mostly just the X fire the satellite cannon. Yeah. Um, but just based so off just the, putting uh, the myself looks. So yeah, putting putting stuff in the like evil grunt because it's very obviously yep. supposed to say this is an evil grunt. You're, this is supposed to be cannon fodder. It's not bad. It's not too bad, I'll say. But eh, um, somewhere between cool and not cool. It's okay. A cool concept, cool look, but not okay. quite my tempo. Okay. Okay. Um, I will I will say the only two things I really like about this suit are the backpack and the head kinda with the double slits instead of like the oh one, so I would actually just put this in not cool. It just doesn't do enough for me. It doesn't make itself different enough from the Zaku. Okay. Okay. I I uh kinda the more I'm, blatant Zaku look like. Yeah, I'm not really out, out like most keen keen on agreeing with uh Wolfie Boy, but at this oh time, I'm gonna have to agree. It's we're gonna put it in the not cool section, okay? It is gonna be in the not cool section, okay? Uh the next mobile suit actually uh, that we have is also from Gundam X. And I need to zoom in before I before I can show it because it's not it's kind of zoomed out. Uh, uh, it is the mobile suit DT six thousand eight hundred, the Dotress, and I can. Oh, the Dolatress. This actually show up in um, one of the Bell Diver series. And this is uh, how the kit oh. looks, and uh, this seems to be part of the uh, the good guys, you know, mobile suit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for I those, the, this gym look alike. I need. I need to I need to watch uh, Gundam X because it actually has some really cool scenes with the the Versago and the you know you know all the Gundams yep. there. For for Honestly, those also yeah, wondering, if you actually like this design, uh, P Bandai did actually come out with a kit, uh, a high grade kit that you could uh, purchase just for yeah. those uh, yeah, who yeah, are it's, wondering. It's, um, yeah, it's for um, the di build divers, which it's the design is pretty much the same. Yeah, it, yeah. it's yeah. just a few color differences. Um, gentlemen, where are we putting this kit on the full wall? Well, it's not a Zaku, which is already a plus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's another gym, gym look alike. I won't say it's one of the strongest ones. I mean, opinion. the dagger is has a better design than it. I will agree, and so does the Nemo. But does the GM yeah. trainer have a better design? Mm. Oh, the gym trainer has a better design. Oh, it's, so it does? It's okay. Um, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, that middle line between not cool and seriously not cool. Mm. I, Again, I I still just, can't believe the gun tank is there. Off of aesthetic and I and I don't mind the body. It's just the head looks is just throwing off. I don't know why. I personally <clears throat> I I personally hate the design. The head makes no sense to me. Uh if I could, uh I'm putting it like GM1 sniper standard. Just terrible. But you'd put the Zaku look alike higher. Oh, absolutely. Because it actually is cohesive. I want to say something good about this gym, but it's the head that kills me every time. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks all right. 
There's nothing inoffensive about it. It's not too bad. It's not nearly as bad as a Zaku lookalike. But I, I think we can all I agree mean, the GM better trainer than looks the better. Double X has on its face. Are you saying the Demi trainer? Yeah, the Demi trainer. I, I think we can all agree no. Looks the, the, the the half oval head looks no. It's just no. No. Okay. It's a, it's Kai, a note from uh, me, dog. Up. Kai, where are you putting it? <laughs> not. Not oh. say, but the bet, but. It's fine. Uh, Kai, I, I, you're cutting in and out. Kai is I, cutting I, out I, like I, no one. I don't know like what you're no saying. Not cool. I'm being not cool. Seriously, not okay. cool. Okay. Okay. It's just, okay. It's just fine. Um, Wolfie boy. Uh, I would put it in between cool and not cool. It's not. It's not too bad. It's not like demi trainer bad. Uh. I think it's a worse design than the, than the Demi Trainer. Uh, I'd put in seriously not cool, but we'll we'll put it kind of just slightly more in the not cool, ever so much. I don't think it's better than the Demi Trainer, in my opinion. And from from uh, yeah, I just I I, I can't I can't I can't. There's no way I can justify this being better than. The Demi Trainer. The Demi Trainer to me just looks like it's made to lift blocks and construction. It does not look like it's made to train anyone how to do anything. Pretty much. If if I actually wanted them, I might change my opinion, but yeah. Other than that, I have no I have no connection to it to be like say, to give a good argument mm-hmm. other than it just looks weird. It's another gym lookalike with um, yeah. a very interesting head design. Well, there you have it. It's uh, it's going to be put in between seriously not mm. cool and not cool. Uh, well, everyone, that is our podcast for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. I uh, really appreciate it. If you know anyone who, uh, who wants to um, show off their kits on the podcast, uh, you can... DM me, uh, DM me on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, on Discord. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted their um, kits. Fantastic job. Wonderfully done. Thank you so much. And of course, I uh, just want to thank the uh, co-hosts for coming and uh, spending time with me on the podcast. So thank you very much, guys. Come along. Oh, no problem. All right, guys, that's it for today. Everyone, you have a great rest of the day. Everyone, take care. Bye-bye for now.